Uh, all right. Just I mean, to play it safe, I did not delete anything off my hard drive. <laughs> well, Craig, you can definitely make up for it uh, by by doing a a recap whenever you you'd well, like to for your well, own campaign. You know, sure. Yeah. So yeah, I know it's, it's every been, week. Uh, and we all get oh, inspiration. Wow. We all get inspiration. All, all of us. We all, all of us get inspiration. Now settle yeah. down, Mike. There's still going to be some challenge. <laughs> settle, settle down. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, if ever if everyone's ready, uh, we are recording. And uh, Craig, I mean, hey, take us on in, bud. Sure. Um, well, last time on, um, <laughs> is it the canopy shadow? Shadows of the canopy. Sorry, you forgot the name <laughs> no, of your own campaign. I couldn't remember because my this my notes so my well. notes are titled <laughs> canopy shadow. Not sh- I think it's shadows of the canopy. Is I thought you were going to say next shadows time of Dragon the canopy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. Well. So a quick recap then. Um, so um, the player characters began the campaign in a city called Rancoa, which is located in a tropical archipelago. Um, they were offered a, a job by a dwarf named Balazar, who worked for the Wyland Utano Mining Corporation, That's who right. have uh, several different mines. Yep, <laughs> they have several different mines in the. Uh, across the various islands and um, places like that in this area. Um, But one of the mines had failed to report in, and it had been several days, and and the player characters had been asked to go to this island and investigate. Um, They were told that there should be a shipment due, which they would hope to recover, and also if they could restore the mining operations on the island. And they were also informed that there was a elven scout on the island named Haylock who may be able to provide them more information. Uh, so the player characters were flown by gyrocopter to the island and they fast roped in like a spec ops team uh, through the jungle canopy. Um, they arrived down and, and made their way through the jungle uh, towards the, the mining camp. Along the way um, they came across um, headless bodies of lizard folk with some look like infernal runes carved next to the bodies. And they also found the body of Haylock, the the elf. Um, also, one thing of note, um, Joel's character, Sabaz, was hit by, at some point, a crossbow bolt that seemed to leave some sort of green shimmer. Um, but nobody really got to the source of that. Um, <clears throat> the player characters then made their way to the mining camp, where it looked like there were several lizard folk um, looting the place as well as the bodies of several of the the miners, which once again had had their their heads removed. Um, the player kind of just briefly talked to the the lizard folk, who kind of claimed responsibility for what had happened, but you didn't quite believe them. Uh, they tried to make off with a chest, um, but. You chose the path of violence. And, we just wanted to get paid. Um, I think is, is yeah. what happened. Yeah, <laughs> just really wanted to you get cho- paid. Yeah, um, you chose the path of violence and cut down all of the lizard folk as well as their large kind of salamander creature. Um, they did. I, we look around the camp, looked at the bodies, and we're kind of certain that no, it definitely wasn't lizard folk. You recovered the chest with its one thousand gold worth of jemmies, which I believe you took out of the chest and put in your backpacks. Is that correct? You yes. found the the key we, for it. We are then, getting paid. Yes. Yeah. Um. And then outside of that, there's still the. So the other thing is, well, actually, I should have said this at the beginning. You were told there's a a radio station with something called a a wave cast. Wait, hold on. It's the transmission wave caster. Sorry, which you can use to call for pickup um, from a a station far to the south. Um, and you have spotted there's a path to the south from the mining camp, which you might assume would lead to it. Um, as well as that, there's still the cave to the north, which I haven't gone into yet, if you want to look in there. Um, but we ended as it was nighttime, and you were all bedding down for a long rest. And I believe you were discussing who would take watch. So, <coughs> yeah. Joining, you're all there. Oh, that's right. So, everyone at home, please forgive us, as all of us haven't played this particular game in, like, six weeks or something ridiculous. So... <laughs> I had to go back and figure out if I even have the same accent in my brain uh, to play with, but I think, yeah, Sabaz is looking okay. He, he's looking all right. Um, so they probably just like check in on the rest of the folk. All right, uh, Dro, Rook, Levos, we uh, who's feeling like they want to take first watch? 
I feel like, like Uruk is going to say, say yes to this. We can totally uh, count on him. <laughs> I will I will watch for any danger in the tree line. Right. Okay. Um that's good. Two hours for you then. I'll take second to make sure nothing awful has happened. And uh Ilivos, Dro, round it up for us. Yep, uh, I don't mind. Yeah, yeah, sh- uh, sure. It seems that Edulis has already bedded down for a sleep, so not gonna bother her at all. <clears throat> Conspicuously missing. Right. Well, I'm going to lay down right here next to this nice fire. Uruk, make sure nothing bad happens. He's just gonna nod and then kind of just, you'll just hear him stomp off into the brush. You just, you can't see him, but you can hear. As he walks around <laughs> in circles. Just panting really hard. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Relaxing. That's just how he breathes. Mm. <laughs> sure. Like we got our white noise machine. <laughs> uh, okay, Uruk, why don't you make a perception check for me? Oh, great. Yeah, I can totally do that. Come on, big man. I just got to remember where the button is. There it is. is yeah, there we go. Oh. 15. Not bad. Yeah, so, not yeah, bad. you take a wee patrol around the camp, keep your eyes out into the into the jungle, but nothing seems to, to grab you. There's just the... the constant sound of chirping insects and the distant noise of a creature but largely uneventful. Um, and your watch ends and do you wake up Sabaz? Hmm. That's a great, that's a good question. <laughs> I, I feel like every time one of those sounds of creatures that seem uneventful to you happens, <laughs> Rook is going to be swinging wildly into the brush. Um... But yeah, do, you, uh, do you go after it? I mean, to an extent, probably, but not like a full, like, I'm going way out in the woods. You know, obviously, if I'm not finding anything in the immediate vicinity, I'm not going to probably keep sure. pursuing. At yeah. some point, I'll come back. Whether it's been two <laughs> hours or not, I don't know. Okay. Uh, so, um, Sebaz, you're woken up by a mud splattered Uruk. Um, <laughs> what? the fuck happened to you uh, uh, just just watch you'll see all right <clears throat> i'm going mud- to sleep now all right yeah sure <laughs> he, Look at he literally so wherever much. you're laying if you're yeah. laying in a bed he's gonna like start laying down immediately where you're at well what, at, uh oh you get my bedroll all muddy all right i'll clean it later it's fine <sighs> Like the dead. <laughs> uh, all right, let's take a poke around. Watching, looking, listening. So perceptive. 16 DM. 16. Okay. <clears throat> um, Sabaz, so your watch. Again, also, you spend time staring out into the jungle, um, listening to the sounds of anything creeping close, but you don't seem to notice anything. Um, however, as your watch ends and you make your way over to... Well, who would be next? That will do Ilavos, that's fine. Okay. Uh, as you make your way over to Ilavos, you spot something on the ground next to him. Um, Is initially, it his you're not diary? Quite... <laughs> no. Um, it's a long, slender shape um, that you can see slowly moving towards him. And um, you're going to be a genius worker that it seems to be a snake. Um, and even in the moonlight you can tell that it looks to be a brightly yellow or a bright yellow snake um and it is very close to him in his bedroll would i know if it is a deadly snake or a prank funny snake <laughs> i mean if you're, if that's what you want to work out if it's a real snake or if someone's trying to no 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 more like make... is it going to harm him or is it just going to be kind of funny when i wake him up and there's a snake okay, you next can... to him you can make a nature check sure. then. That's a six. I don't a know. A six. You have yeah. You have no idea if uh. it's just a regular cuddly snake or if it might be a venomous snake. Sure. Um. Well, you know, it's been a long time for me, the player, and how stressed out we were previously. I'm gonna go with just stabbing the thing. <laughs> okay. Right. You can make an, an attack roll against yeah. it then. 
It's a 15 DM. A 15. With my rapier. Okay, that's, it, it does have an AC of 13, so you, you were you were a little bit closer to missing it, really. Uh, oh. But yeah, no, it's so. Uh, if you want to roll damage, I think it will. Yeah, you'll kill it. Yeah, Seven. so. Um, you skewer the snake as it was crawling towards Ilavos and. Um, Ilavos, I, I guess it wouldn't exactly be quiet. You'd hear the sound of a, a sword being stabbed into the ground, and you're woken up to see Sabaz yeah. standing over you with his weapon drawn. Have at you, foul beast! And strike the snake next to him, saving his life. Let him know immediately. Ilavos, I have saved you. Look upon this poisonous bastard. Oh, your microphone's muted. He's All in right, stun I'm muted. He's I'm in stone <laughs> silence. So, oh, have you now? What have you saved me from? This! Had, I proffer the yellow-like snake towards his face on the tip of the rapier. I'm sort of like half asleep just staring at the snake. I'm just like, right, and where'd you find that? It was about to strike you while you slept. Oh, well, now it's not. Good. Indeed. And I'll yes. start motioning to go back to sleep. No, wait, uh, oh, uh, Ilavos, it's your watch. Oh, good. All right, well, maybe the snake was just coming to let me know that. And I'll start getting up and make my way to stand oh. watch. I should have asked its question then. Um, looking back over to where I've lost my bedroll to Uruk in his muddy form. Uh, Ilavos, <laughs> I hope you won't mind. I'm just going to use this bedroll for a moment. Yeah, he didn't oh, take his shoes ahead. off either. He's got muddy shoes. Oh, just in your muddy bed. boots on everything. Nothing worse. <laughs> I use Ilavos' bed. We're just we're just trading now. Uh, well, I guess um, Ilavos, if you want to make a perception check for me first. Cool thing. Uh, unnatural twenty. Unnatural twenty. Yeah. So um, you stare out into the jungle. Um, once again, though, nothing grabs your attention and the watch passes uneventfully. Oh, good. And that just leaves Dro. If you'd like to wake him up or... Yeah, I'll go wake him up. You. I'm sure nothing terrible will happen on the last one. Are there any snakes sneaking upon <laughs> Dro's No, body? with the natural 20, you would have... Or not the natural... With the 20, you would have fended them off them. from afar. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so there's no, there's no creatures uh, that bother you. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll sort of shake Dro awake and just say... Oh, you're up. Oh, 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 oh. <clears throat> oh wow. Uh, are we ready? To, is it time to go? Uh, no, I'm afraid not. It's time for you to <sighs> sit there and stare at the forest for a while. <sighs> I was actually hoping I'd slept through it. So was. Oh. Well. <laughs> oh, fine. All right, he gets up and he just kind of like. Starts walking around, kicking random rocks or you know, <laughs> sticks or whatever. Just like. Sure, he's, uh, he's going to be a child. He's going to be a child about it. <laughs> okay, so will will Drew actually be keeping watch, or is he just kind of sulking? Yeah, yeah, he'll he'll be, he'll be keeping watch, but he's not going to be excited about it. Okay, <laughs> he can make a perception check then. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Where is my? It's the one that starts with P. There. <laughs> <laughs> an eight. Okay. I have an eight. Oh, I, I don't wow. see anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So too busy kicking rocks and knocking over <laughs> crates or just stomping about. You uh you don't notice anything. Um and nothing jumps out. Um and again your watch passes uneventfully as well. Um until the hmm. sun rises and the uh, the air once again begins to turn hot and humid and you all awaken <sighs> if rested if not refreshed. Forgot how much this place sucks. You oh, know, no, it's not. I'm not a fan. Yeah, it's it's not. Oh, not my no. top list of locations. On uh, I, For some reason, I was I, I was just like... struck by a sting of music. Yeah, no, it, it jumps <laughs> quite quickly there. Sorry. So, <laughs> I feel like we did we not get our we we we, we got the, the the stuff we 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 yeah you know, we, I mean we we, 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 we could kind of poke around I guess. I mean, is there more money in it? Um, like, are we gonna? Uh, well, it depends. Maybe they left something inside the mine itself. Otherwise, we need to head yeah. south, right? Go uh, relay yeah. the message, get the pickup. Well, 
Only if there's more money. If there's more money in it, I'm down. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Almost, um, I just want to take the stuff and... Do we have to tell them? We could just pretend we didn't get anything. Well, they it's also like need watching to us. get us off the island. But yeah, when we get back, we don't have to... We just be like, we, we found nothing. And then, like, you know, sure. we can... We can hide everything in, uh, in, uh, yeah. Uruk, he can hide it. He, he can hide it. <laughs> Where would I Uruk can hide anything. Hide? Oh. Uruk, See? If, if I were to hand you See? these gems, where would you hide them? He holds out a hand to you. <laughs> All right, now pretend this rock is a gem. Uruk, where would you take and hide them? Before you even finish the sentence, he swallowed it. <laughs> well, Dro, if you want to see um, some dirty gems, I suppose you can hand them to Uruk. That can't be good. We'd have for you, to buddy. wait a while, wouldn't we? Well, Uruk does have a fast metabolism. <laughs> right. So, uh, uh, thoughts on if we go inside the mines at all? Hand raise of hands. Any interest? Oh. Uh. God. I don't suppose it's uh, That's two. got a nice breeze in that mine or anything. No, but it can't be any worse than out here. That's three for me. I am curious. I mean, awesome. Unless you're hard I'm... against it. Let's go take a look. I'm not against it. We'll Alright, let's go take a peek then. So, okay. DM, I guess we go. Uh, okay, can I just get the order of travel for who's leading the way into the mine? Rook. Hey, I don't buddy. See any reason why you're first? <laughs> sure. No, that's fine. Um, and I do you all have dark vision, or does one? Do any of you need to light a torch or anything like that? Because it is pitch black inside. I no, I'm, I'm a half elf. Oh, they were all no, good. I'm, I'm an elf elf. We're hanging out. Yeah. I will need a torch. Do you need a torch? Why? All right. Uh, all right, Dro. I'm gonna need a. Torch. I cast the light spell on Dro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I like, set him a light. <laughs> now he can see. I'm just... Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Um, okay, so you all step inside the the mining cave, and you can see, looking at the ground, there's frequent uh, tracks of footsteps that um, you presume the miners have made when they've come in and out. Um, the the path leads down through this natural cave until you find an area where the rock itself looks to have been carved away. Um, stepping further in, you can see there's patches of the walls where it looks like um, large chunks of rock have been cut out. Um, but relatively uninteresting so far. Um, you head in further for about another five minutes or so until you come to an area where um, thanks to the light spell, you spot them easily. There's some, similar to the green gemstones you found uh, in the chest. There's several that seem to still be embedded into the walls. Um, the looking, you can assume that it would take significant effort to properly pry them out. Um, not to mention you have to go back and grab mining equipment if you want to do that. Oh, that's right. Um, well. I guess it could be our mining operation, boys, but... Um, I mean, if we see anything particularly good, I can definitely get it out the wall for us. It might give in the whole mine, but... Risk Ooh. and rewards. Uh, worth it? The whole mine? Well, I mean, I think structural integrity is quite important in these places. Hmm. <laughs> good point. <clears throat> uh, Uruk. You got big, strong hands. Mm. I think you could tear one of those out of the wall. I will destroy this entire place as he <laughs> puts his hands on the That's my boy. and starts pulling on the wall. <laughs> sure, why do you, you make a strength check to see That's if you can my rip boy. a gem out of, out of a wall of rock? Come on, dirty 20. A, a 20? Well, okay. Um, so you grab onto a cluster of gems. Um, you pull and pull. And with a, a large crunching sound, a cluster of gems does come out, but they crack and snap in your hands. Um, and about half of it kind of turns just to brittle dust um, until you're left with kind of a, a large kind of half chunk. Um, that, hey. I mean, I guess looking at it, you'd probably say it's worth about 75 to 100 gold. He just, he literally just 
tosses it over his shoulder to the guys and then <laughs> continues to try to pull on other rocks. <laughs> sure. Um, <laughs> whilst that's happening, could I could I ask for Dro and um, Ilavos to make uh, an investigation check for me each? Ooh, cool thing. Four. I'm too sweaty. I can't ten. investigate. Okay. Um, wow. That's a combined 14 now. <laughs> that is a combined 14. <laughs> um, it's real good. Look, <laughs> um, looking around, um, kind of just idly wandering about, you you don't really find anything of interest. Or There's a few kind of discarded pieces of mining equipment um, and the odd torch and, and things like that, but there's nothing that kind of grabs your attention. Um, so we're just going to sit here, like, pulling gemstones out of the wall for a wee oh, while? This, we are now I mean, a mining simulation. Gems in the walls. So. <laughs> yeah. I, I suppose, I, Dro, do you mind going back and uh, grabbing some of those mining equipment? We could really set Uruk to work here. I mean, I'll get as much as I can carry. I do, like, a pickaxe or two, I think, is probably going to be best. If you really want money, I mean, it's literally right here. Well, look. Well, you know, when you put it like that. That's what I'm saying. So what I would say he is just, looking... He starts you can moseying see... towards it. <laughs> <laughs> so I would just say quickly, before we do that, there are four clusters of un, uh, gems still in the walls. If you want to try those, if that's um, just for your for your knowledge. But, Dror, you want to head back and grab some mining equipment? Yes, I'm going to go back, grab some mining equipment and, uh, like, pickaxes and... Anything else that I might think would be useful uh, in the scenario? Okay, um, so we'll stick with Dro for the time being, um, and we'll mm -hmm. check in with us in a moment. But Dro, you make your way back out of the cave um, and return to the camp. <clears throat> um, you make your way over to the, where there's the there was the uh, cart with the dead horse in front of it, uh, but there were mm. several crates that you uh, presume you would find some mining equipment inside, and um, you do. But can I just get your passive perception, please? Ooh. Uh, ooh, good God. It's 13. It's 13. Okay, so um, you open the crates and begin to gather some tools, but listening, you can actually hear what sounds like rustling from one of the, the tents off to your right, and looking across, you can see the... Uh, canopy of it kind of flapping a little bit um, as if there may be something inside you know uh, under normal circumstances <laughs> <laughs> I would pretend I saw nothing and walk away <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the horror movie buff in me <laughs> says no good comes of me investigating this you should look but, come on but but screw it. Yes. I'm going to go look. Okay. It's been nice knowing you all. <laughs> <laughs> it's been real, bud. Sure. <laughs> hmm. So you make your way. Angelus, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> you make your way over to the tent. Well, or are you, are you going to approach stealthily or are you just walking up to it? What would you like to do? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going out of my way to like. You know, bust out the camouflage and like the 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 bush to hide inside of or nothing or a cardboard box. I, I am gonna be approaching cautiously though, like just kind of, yeah, not necessarily ready, trying to ready be quiet. for something to to jump. Yeah, out okay. like I'm unsure. I, I'm, sure. I'm apprehensive. Sure. Um. So you you approach the tent and and get close to it, and you can hear what sounds like the sounds of uh, rummaging um, from something inside, like it's. Um, might be looking through the contents of um, any personal belongings inside. I'm gonna call out, but uh, I'm, I'm gonna. Uh, I'll just role play. Uh, <coughs> uh, um, <coughs> uh, who's in there? <laughs> sure. Uh um. <laughs> There doesn't seem to be a response, and in fact, you can hear the rummaging continuing. Uh huh. Uh. <clears throat> uh. I, I, I'm armed. Uh, I got. I got a sword. I, I'll use it. You. 
this doesn't seem to have any effect. The the noises still emanate from inside the the tent. Then uh, I'm just gonna like in one fail swoop action, just gonna reach out and like grab the opening of the tent and just swing it open. Sure. <clears throat> So as you do that, um, light bathes the inside of the tent and reveals a small monkey that looks to be going through the personal belongings of one of the miners. And as you open the, the flap, it looks up at you and screeches uh, at you before bolting for the exit of the tent. Uh, is there anything you'd like to do? I'm going to scream as well. <laughs> <laughs> That, that, that's uh, my reaction. Sure. Um, so you both scream at each other, and the monkey <laughs> bolts from the tent. Um, looks to have made off with a few, few strips of dried meat, uh, but it dives into the into the jungle. And mm. That's it. I'm gonna like just like I'm gonna you know, get up, you know, like hastily, but also just be like, Whew. oh. And then I'm gonna immediately check and make sure it didn't steal any of like the important shit. I don't care about the meat. I don't care about the food. Sure. I mean, this was just that. Uh, <laughs> I don't think any of you took a. You would have had a note what was the important stuff inside it. Yeah. There is yeah. just a few like dried food stuffs, a canteen, mm. and some spare clothes. But okay. there's nothing, nothing that, that <sighs> grabs your attention. <sighs> Thought it was gonna be a real problem. <laughs> now he's gonna go back over. He's gonna pick up the you know, any uh, pickaxes and whatnot he can find, and then he's gonna. Saunter on back over uh, to his mates. Sure. Uh, so we'll just jump to the rest of you. Um, so, um, Sabaz and Uruk, are you two just kind of picking out the gems and um, eyeing up where they would be? Or is there anything you would like to do? I uh, am letting Uruk just go and do what he likes. I'm like, oh, that's a shiny one over there, buddy. You want to go over there and do that? And then, you know, light up a cigarette and smoke while he does his thing. Yeah, sure. That's Pretty much just gonna keep going. <laughs> okay. Well, let's have um, two more strength checks then from Uruk to see if you can pull um, oh, 21. twenty-one. For goodness' sake, I shouldn't have said anything about these gems. Yeah, this people, so we're yeah. getting rich, boys. Um, <laughs> Seventeen. A seventeen. So yeah, I mean, it's the similar thing to the first where um, it's not refined mining. Uh, you do kind of ruin the object as you as you pull it from the rock wall. But yeah, and another two. Um, large chunks. Um, you do scrape your hand slightly, but it's it's not a, a point deduction injury or anything like that uh, from doing it. Um, but yeah, so you have two more large chunks of un, unrefined gems. Um, for you, Ilivos, uh, Ilivos sorry, what are you doing? I'm sweating profusely as my <laughs> okay. main activity. And other than that, just keeping a wary eye about He's okay. uh, lovely um, fidgeting with his armor and waiting to get out of here. Okay, why don't you make a perception check for me this time? Sure thing. There we are. Why can I not a 15. See the roll? Okay. Oh, 15. Um, so, looking around, you can see that the, the cave continues a, a little bit further down. Um, and um, there's a distant smell of, of sulfur uh, coming from further down the cave that you catch a whiff of. Hmm. Smells lovely in here. I will uh, yeah. stand guard, yeah. Okay. Uh so with that, uh Drill returns um with the the mining equipment. Finally. <coughs> ah Uruk! Drove hmm. out the gear. Uh how about you take a crack at the last one with a, a pickaxe, huh? Mm. Fine. All right. Hmm. So there's there's two more, and I guess I'll let you go f do it with advantage this time. Honestly, I don't know how you do mining in D and D. I didn't you're, prepare you're for this. It. You're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> it's close. Okay, uh, twenty two. Twenty two and uh, fifteen. A oh, fifteen. Okay. Um, with the the fifteen, um, I would say because you're using the might the pick. Uh, the pickaxe this time you do um, manage to retrieve a, a chunk but this time it's still I would say a similar value to the 75 100 gold is the, the first ones but for the 22 with the pickaxe you manage to 
expertly extract a full um, geode or chunk or whatever the mineral world calls these sorts of things, um, which would be worth about 200 gold. It's a rock. <laughs> he's gonna get but the yeah. job, but just because he got at the gyms out doesn't mean he's gonna start stop swinging at the walls. <laughs> uh, Rook, uh, good job, buddy. I, I think that's about everything. Uh, uh, there's there's still more wall here. There, yes, yes, we will take care of that wall later, my friend. Uh, how about you take a break? Come on over here, get some water. I've got a snack. Mm, I am hungry. <laughs> All right, good. Uh, <clears throat> See, Dro, look, a little extra cash, right? Mm. Make use of this later, right, Ilavos? You are so sweaty. I am having a horrible time. All right, well, <laughs> you want to get us out of here then? Take us to the south? Yep, yeah, don't see why not. All right. Here, come here, and I'll hand him some dried jerky that I'm sure I have on me for just these moments. <laughs> <laughs> He's not a dog. <laughs> Scooby snack. <laughs> it's basically. a Scooby snack for our hook. <clears throat> sure. He takes it um, and just like just like the rock, just swallows it whole. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay. Um, so you guys make your way back uh, into the camp. Uh, is there any final business you'd like to do in the camp before you uh, set off on the path to the south? Come along, Edulis. I'm sure there's things for us to do. <laughs> Did we address the Angelus thing? I don't know if it does that be under the recording. <laughs> it, it, it's fine. I mean, it is. It's it's right. here. We're missing someone. It's fine. Whether or not Angelus is in this game or not, it doesn't really matter. We continue on. Sure. Um, okay. So you guys uh, leave the camp and set off to the south. Um, following the path, you can see that the, a route has been cleared through the jungle. Um, and there is a pathway of packed mud, so you find the going a little bit easier than yesterday where you had to kind of hack your way through and cross the treacherous and, and slippery ground, but the jungle presses in close and the air is humid and stinging insects are still a constant and source of annoyance for you all. Um, however, the journey passes uneventfully or so for an hour. Is there anything you guys would like to do? Um. Not particularly. <clears throat> Keep an eye on the trees because I got shot by something up there yesterday. <clears throat> sure. Um, my biggest concern, my biggest concern, is going to be making sure I don't run into that monkey again. <laughs> That's the real villain of the campaign. That little mm -hmm. one. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Um, well, Sebastian, why don't you make me a perception check, and you can do it with advantage because I'm sure all your pals will be helping you. Great. I have terrible perception. 18. DM. 18. Okay, that's pretty good. Um so um as you're as you're walking along, um suddenly you hear a voice. And I'm not going to yell it, but it is a yell um because it is quite late for me. Uh, but you hear a voice yelling, <laughs> "Help! Anyone! Help me!" Um there seems to be coming from just further down the path and off to to one side. Uh, oh, uh, God. We should go help, right? That's what heroes do. I mean... This jungle's really frying your brain if you, that's what you think we are, but... Yeah, all right. Uh, 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 quietly. Pointed look at Uruk. He... <laughs> starts <laughs> hacking his way through the jungle. <laughs> sure. Uh, okay. I should have known. Quiet, <laughs> quietly hacking. <laughs> thunk, thunk. <laughs> okay. Um, so as you you push through the the thick the thick vegetation just off the the path here, and all the while the voice is still calling out, "Please help! I need help!" Um, until eventually, as you get closer to the source, you come across a small muddy clearing, um, and just in the center of it, you can see um, what I would call a white pith helmet. You might not know what a pith helmet is. It's like kind of a colonial uh, helmet. helmet. Like, yeah, basically a Jumanji helmet, and it's just yeah. sitting in the center of this muddy clearing. Uh, anything in the trees, DM? Anything in the trees? <laughs> Why do you make a 
Why don't you make a nature check for me here, Sebastian? Oh, why do you pick the worst of these things? I couldn't persuade the trees to tell me a ten. <laughs> a nature check. Um, you don't see anything in the trees or, or nothing when you're looking out the just the, the simple clearing before you. Uh, oh. No sign of the man that was yelling. Mm. It was just a hat as a rip picks it up and puts it on his head. Uh, well, uh, oh. mm. Oh, uh, hang on there, there, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> or a cashew. There's something in there. Um, <laughs> not in the It's hat. actually Chibachi. <laughs> <laughs> it transports you out of the board game that we're the all inside. Oh, no. <laughs> um, no, actually, as you step into the muddy clearing, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw as the muddy ground before you gives way. It was Let's a trap. Do it. Uh, a 16. Well no, that's fine. A 16, that's enough. So you step you you step forward and um, you sink into the mud up to your shin, but quickly realizing and reacting, um, you realize that what you're about to step into is um, quick mud. Is it called quick mud? I wasn't sure when I was coming up. Would you just call it quick sure. mud? Sure, quick mud yeah. it is. Um, sinking mud, whatever you want to call it. And you manage to, to pull yourself back just before you, you slip into it. Yeah, uh, Rook actually, rather than pulling himself out, just makes himself very wide, distribute the weight. <laughs> okay, sure. So he doesn't doesn't sink. He just doesn't. Just <laughs> uh, we gotta help him. Just... Nice. Okay. Uh, is there a way uh, to help him swiftly? We um, I believe each of us have rope. Yeah, yeah I mean, what well, what, what would you guys do? Him. I guess to help Uruk here. Uh, Move to where we think the edge of the mud is, toss some rope, and sure. drag him out. Yeah. Okay. I'll watch um, them do that while I sweat profusely. Damn it. it was, help us. All right. Thank you. I'll start hauling on the rope when he grabs it. Yeah. Sure. So, well, Uruk, the, the rope is tossed towards you and, and lands close to your, your hands. What would you like to do? I mean, he'll grab onto it. All right. I feel. I feel like I need to ask every time because it's not, it's not quite what I always expect your response to be. I the, swallow the rope. rope. <laughs> I eat the rope. Okay, he'll sure. Grab onto so, it, but he's he's, uh, he's enjoying floating here on the, yeah. the mud bag. Yeah. The mud. I legit thought he was gonna bite it. Yeah, I know, okay. right? <laughs> sure. Oh. Uh, so, Eric, you grab or you grab onto the onto the rope. The rest of you. Uh, grab the other end, and you slowly pull uh, Uruk back to the the muddy bank. Um, Somehow and, um, covered in even more mud, my friend. I don't know how you do it. Uh, perfect camouflage. Here, try it. Is he gonna rub someone? <laughs> oh no no no! Oh. Sure. <clears throat> um, but as you uh, gather your yourselves together once again on the the edge of the muddy clearing. The, the the pith helmet in the center of the mud suddenly vanishes um, as if it was a mere illusion. Um, and you actually hear echoing around you the same voice going, Help! Please help! But this time, uh, intermixed with it, is an echoing laughter um, that seems to reverberate through the trees around you. <sighs> I knew it was the trees. <laughs> Took a look around. Someone help me look for things in the trees. It's definitely something going I mean, on. Sure, I mean you can all make a perception check. Right. Um, Here, I was gonna perceive. I got a sixteen. Oof. So a sixteen, a seven, an natural eleven, 20. and a natural hey. twenty. Yeah, okay. All, of those. Um, all right. All right. Now, Illivos, for a very, very brief moment. Um, so quick you're not even sure if you imagine it you see the outline of a winged shape fluttering amongst the trees um, looks to be about about the size of Dro, I'd say just fluttering um, on leathery wings but it for a, it, as quick as you see it, it vanishes I'd immediately bark at the rest of the party and just say yep there's something out there I just saw something and I'll gesture in the direction of where I saw the uh, the flicker if you like Sure. Uh, so you all look towards it, but there doesn't seem to be anything that you can see. Um, no signs of movement or, or a creature. Well, maybe you're seeing things, but we all heard something. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm not seeing things. Well, then where'd it go? 
I mean, I can't see it anymore, but that doesn't mean I didn't see it in the first place. Well, what would you suggest then, Ilavos? We wait until we see it again? We wait. Alright. Should we prepare weapons? Well, I mean, can't hurt. Alright. Well, it's that then you don't prepare your weapon. Uh, Dro has his rapier out. Yeah, as I say, rapier <laughs> out, and I'm preparing to viciously mock. Okay. While you guys are chatting, Rook is tied one end of, the, end of the rope to a tree, and then the other end of the rope around his waist. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, little boss has just tied himself to a tree after we've seen something out there, so... <laughs> That's good. It's alright. Um, sure, so, I mean, you guys are waiting. Um... Five minutes pass and you don't see anything. Ten minutes, still nothing. I love I'm getting bored. Waiting. Are you sure you saw something? I mean, I'm pretty sure I saw something, but that doesn't mean we can't move on. I'm sure there's a lot of random stuff out here. True. It must be hiding under the mud. Now, now Uruk, please don't go I back mean, into the mud. Are you going into the mud? I'm not going to stop you. I just want to know in is advance. He going? Yeah, is he going? I have tied off. <laughs> Is, is he going? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> he like, starts walking towards it. Just like, well, I mean, I mean, oh, we're doing a little fun. roll? Okay. All right, let's see. Well, let's find out. Oh, yeah, he's going. All right. Uh, <sighs> he, he gets a running sprint tied to a tree. He's going to dive to where that helmet was sank. Oh, he just went ahead first. Into the oh, oh, yeah. oh, there he goes. Goodbye, Eric. <laughs> We probably uh, should have got the gems out of his stomach before we let him do that. Well, at least he only <laughs> ate the rock. No gems, right? Oh. Might be something inside. Right. Oh, thank God. But when I dive head first in with my arms, <laughs> do I touch anything? Is there anything in there? <laughs> no, it's just a bit of mud. <laughs> so, yeah, just, you, you, what I imagine is that you, you leap forward and you sink up to your waist into the mud. And the rest of you just see Uruk's legs sticking into the air, um, and he and he That's... slowly begins to descend down. I mean, Uruk, I'd ask for a Constitution saving throw as you begin to, I guess, drown. Well, in the yeah, mud. he's he's gonna. He's I gonna assume die. that's what he was intending to do. Right? Was he just trying to kill us? Does himself? he have oh. a plan? How long do we wait? <laughs> we don't okay. wait. We don't. Ilavostro, come on, drag his ass out again. Okay, no, this he... time I'll. I mean, he's I'll a bit further in this time. <laughs> Yeah, I'll need a strength check from from all of you. Um, uh, two of you need to succeed in the DC, I guess. He's frantically oh. moving, trying to move his arms deeper to try to uh, feel God. for anything that's Full down there. Again. Natural twenty. Okay. Um, oh wow! The I got a fourteen. With the, with the natural twenty, um, I would say Ilivos heaves on the rope, and with a a thick plop, um, <laughs> or a head surfaces from the mud. <laughs> it's just. I mean, it's even more money than other words than yeah. thick plot. <laughs> no, I wasn't sure. How else would you describe something gets, getting pulled from a I'd describe it in mud. any other way. I'm sorry, I, I, wasn't, pre I wasn't prepared for this, uh, I'm afraid. For the thick plot. <laughs> Uruk, did you find anything uh, inside uh, there? No, but I was close. You pulled me up too soon. I, I you know, right, I well, think we No, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, just keep pulling his... Pull him out. Let's go. We, let's head south. It's clearly, this is just a distraction of some kind. Something's playing tricks on us. Oh, now you believe there is something. Well, I... I you were giving me you. all that about saying that I saw something earlier, and now you're saying there's something. I, I do... I, well, I trust you, and I really just want to get Uruk away from this mud puddle. Do you understand that? Oh, that's much? probably it's, a good idea. Yeah, yeah, so let's just... Let's just move along. <sighs> okay. So, you return to the path you were on, <clears throat> and continue south. Um, so, you travel for, this time about an hour and a half, and the path gradually descending downwards. Um, the midday sun beams down on you, and you feel the sweat freely flowing across your head and down your back, but further ahead you can hear the sound of fast-flowing water. And as you round a corner, you find that the path ahead ends as it arrives at a wide, fast-flowing river. You're on a small cliffside looking down into the raging torrent, which is about 40 feet below you. Um, however, you can see that there appears to be a platform 
that you can use to cross the river. So um, on your side, there's a tall metal pole embedded into the ground, and there's a thick steel cable that runs the the width of the river uh, onto the opposite bank where you can see there's another similar pole where there's a, a small wooden platform. And in the middle of the pole close to you, there looks to be a small handle you could turn. Oh, so a bit of a ferry then. How wide is the river, would you say? Um, the river is about 200 feet wide. It is very wide. Wow, that's a good... Okay, that's a good distance. So I guess we just turn the hand crank then. I guess so. I'll oh. do it. I'll start cranking the, the crank. Sure. Um, so you... Um, <laughs> put your back into it. <laughs> And it almost cranks it up, and yeah, the the platform you can see slowly begins to approach you from the the side of the bank, uh, or from the far side of the bank. Sorry, um, it looks to be kind of a, a simple uh, wooden platform with a low wooden wall running across it. Um, it does sway slightly um, in kind of the open air, but it looks relatively sturdy. Um, and eventually the platform does arrive next to you. And in fact, as it does, you can see it kind of activates a, a small automatic brake uh, to prevent it sliding uh, back across. Well, all aboard. Does it look like it can safely accommodate all of us? Yeah, I mean, this thing was would have had to have been big enough, which, or you would assume it would be big enough to take the horse and cart uh, yeah. from the mining cart, uh, gotcha. from the mining camp, okay. sorry. So it could probably take the four of you, no problem. All right, let's go then. Sure. All um, right. So, um, you all can swim, you right? Because <laughs> I don't, uh, I don't think I can. I can swim, but not really in metal armor particularly well. I would say. Okay. I can swim, but Why'd I don't you say want it with a question. to. Right. Okay. That's why the question. <laughs> Eric, big man, I, you can swim, right? I am one with nature. Perfect. Love that. All right. I'm going to just hold on tight to Uruk then. He's still, he's caked in mud still. He's God, like that's dried. so much mud. I'm just going to grab your belt here, buddy. You're just going to hold on I'm going to plan to not land in the water. That's my sure. plan. Perfect. Uh, uh, across we go then. Sure. Uh, so you all step onto the platform and it sways slightly from side to side, but seems sturdy enough. Um, and there is a small um, lever and brake system on the on the platform. Um, Ilivo, so you just wanting to take charge of that again yeah yeah i'll, I'll become an expert at it um so yeah uh we begin to well be good at something <laughs> you begin to winch the platform across the gap uh, so the sounds of the river below because it is really uh kind of a torrent it is thundering uh below you and the sounds of it dominate your scent uh your senses and the air is damp with droplets of water which spray up from the river below you um you continue across, and the journey is surprisingly smooth. However, um, right about halfway across, um, I would like you all to make a perception check once again. Surely it'll be better. Oh, okay. Not bad. Fourteen. Um, so draw and Sabaz, eighteen and nineteen. The two of you see something um, on the far side of the bank. You're traveling towards, just off to one side, you notice a figure amongst the canopies of the treetops quietly staring towards you. Trees um, again, it was the trees. <laughs> um, I'll describe what you see. Um, as there appears to be some sort of large humanoid looking out towards you. The creature appears to have at least five arms that you can see and they are hooked and wrapped onto the nearby limbs and branches of the trees. The, the flesh of the creature appears to be a deep green in color that very much blends in with its surroundings, uh, but there's small streaks of blue across it. Um, you can see it seems to have an improvised thick layer of branches and dead leaves that cover uh, its torso and go across its shoulders and head. But the most striking feature that you can see are its five bright red eyes that arc across the top of the creature's head and they cast an eerie glow amongst the treetops. And I shall reveal the art for the creature actually to you all. That's what you see. If you can see that. Can't Over see anything. You might need to hit the, Sorry, that the share with that all. That didn't show up. 
I just pressed that button. I posted it in the Discord chat for everyone. Though. Oh, okay. Oh wait, it's for some. It shared it with myself. Um, <laughs> good trick. Hold on, let me just add it to all of your journals then, so you should be able good. to see it. All good. It's okay. In post, this is there where it pops you up should... on your screen, anyways. <laughs> you should now have a handout for mysterious creature. Do you see that? I do. Oh yeah. That's uh. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's terrifying. Cool. How mysterious. Yeah. It was kind of cute. I'm not afraid at all. I'm not afraid at all. Not afraid. So, um, it is just Sabaz and Dro who initially see it. Um, what would you like to do? <laughs> uh, don't look now, everyone. We are indeed being watched by something terrifying. Um, oh. over there. Uh. Don't make any loud noises or act like you've been seen or it's seen you or where? Ah, Dro is going to <laughs> Dro is audibly swallowed. <laughs> <Just like, "Gulp." laughs> <laughs> and I'm now like kinda like wedging myself, like like kind of trying to put myself behind somebody. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Perfect. Great. Like <sighs> trying to get out of his eyes. Um, Where I don't see it. Elavos, can we? Can we? Uh, is there any way that we can help you get across faster, just in case this thing does mean us harm? Would you like to go on the crank? Can we help you with the crank? Should I crank it for crank. you? Yeah, have you ever had a friend crank, crank, crank it, it before? All right. Um, I have, but it didn't work out well last time. But I want to give it a go with you. Sure, with advantage this time. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Why are you? I mean, if you're wanting to go at high speed, yeah. Can I stand uh, behind him like a romantic golf lesson and help him crank it? <laughs> sure. In which yes. case, Sebastian, why don't you make a, a oh, strength I should check? Not be advantage. taking the lead on this. All right. Athletics with advantage to you? Yeah. Yeah. As soon as you're getting some Thank help. you. I'm going to need it. <laughs> 15. Okay. 15. Um, so you do pick up the pace. Um, I just think he's doing any of the work. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Quickly now, quickly um, now. So you rapidly uh, turn the winch and begin to, to pick up speed, pretty much doubling the, the pace at which you were going across, which was quite leisurely before. Um, and as you get close to the bank, the kind of angle that the, the, you can still see the creature just, um, I don't know, silently staring towards you before the the trees kind of cover where the creature is um, but it has not moved it has not reacted or done anything um but you arrive on the far bank all right well we've made it um time to get off of this before i get thrown into the river can is i still see the creature clearly no it's 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 behind the the wall of trees now you, you can't see it anymore can we move to a place to perhaps see it um, are you wanting to go for to where you did see it? I think we should probably investigate. Sure. Um, so are you just walking through the um, the forest, or you would you like to approach stealthily? I guess. Well, or we could stick to the road. <clears throat> Input would be much appreciated, lads. I think we probably want to stick to the road. Stick to the road. That's you, at least then you know uh, if that thing is following us. Smarter than I am. Won't That's quite get the jump on us. I would like not to get lost. I. All right, then let's watch the trees and, and keep moving. There is okay. option three. Back what on the it? crank. Go back that way, leave. Because that thing, if we're being followed, we don't really know what we're doing out here. Right. Um, but also, uh, issue, if we want off the island, we have to go this way. Hmm. That is and there lies my genius. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What a masterful so, plan. <laughs> I, I, it seems that there may be only one way to go, as if we are on some form of rails. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, All right. not the first time I've been railroaded. First you've been cranked by someone else, and now you've been railroaded by someone else. How does it feel today? Uh -oh. That's odd. All right. Uh, uh, Normal day, really, in your company. <laughs> then carry on, then. <laughs> <laughs> the thing's just listening to us from the forest, like, what the, the fuck? fuck? What is <laughs> happening? <laughs> Who are these guys? Oh. 
That's crazy. Okay. So, um, you step off once again, the path leading towards the south um, and through the jungle. Uh, but this time, the canopy above is thick enough that it finally provides you some shelter from the sun. Um, you journey for about another 20 minutes or so um, before the the jungle really does become very dense around you um, to the point where the path and the the jungle become so thick that the ground itself actually has a slight mist um, covering most of it. Um, this lends an almost ethereal quality to the atmosphere. Sounds echo through the foliage and the heat becomes even more oppressive uh, beneath the canopy. But you continue onwards. Um, until, um, well, actually, we're about to come to another section. I don't know if you want to take a break now, Joel, sure. for a section that might take a little while. Um, yeah, if we, we just do, do that now, now, get out of the way. Let's do it. Break time. I'm sure nothing terrible okay. will happen. <laughs> None at all. <laughs> Joel, this isn't that dangerous. Cool. I, um, I don't know, man. The mud was the mud was a lot. All yeah, right? but that we, we but almost I died. Didn't... <laughs> Yeah, but that's not. That wasn't too malicious. Like that was. <laughs> no, that no. Wasn't we me. all almost died. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, as we return, then um, could I actually get an order of travel? Um, is it Uric in the lead, um, or is anyone else surpassed? I could not him? imagine it, it anyone. Yeah, I could not imagine anyone okay. else being in front. I'm just trudging <laughs> behind him. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, I'm going to be like behind Uruk and Illavos. It's kind of like <laughs> using their size to mask my presence. Mm -hmm. Sure. <laughs> uh, okay, in which case, Uruk, why don't you make a... Um, I guess we'll say a nature check for this, actually, as you're, oh, as you're walking. Okay. Somehow my nature is a negative one. We got an 18, though. That's pretty good. Um, so as you're walking across the uh, the jungle path here, um, dewdrops from the mist um, have gathered in front of you on a on a cobweb for what looks to be a large spider um, that you were about to walk into. Um, now I'm not going to say you stop or you dodge. What would Uruk do upon seeing what looks to be um, a spider with long, slender limbs and bright colored spots on its back? Um, I mean, I feel like he'd probably just hack through it with his sword. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fair enough. That That's an all right. I was worried to get... Uruk's a root it, one or... kind of guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So, Uruk, you, um, you draw your sword and, and cut through the web. Um, and, yeah, the, the spider um, splats onto the ground with a another thick plop, I guess we'll say for that. Um, oh. <laughs> Why are they always thick? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Can't help it. Uh, well, they anyway. always plop. <laughs> they always plop. <laughs> um, Spider summer. Um, <laughs> however, as you uh, just as soon as you do that um, and step forward, um, there's a whistling sound as a crossbow bolt is fired from the um, the trees to your right. Um, at you, or and it's a 16 to hit um, as it comes flying out towards you. Does that hit? 16 does hit. A 16 does hit. Okay. Um, the crossbow bolt slams into you, uh, dealing um, 11 piercing damage, and I need you oh. to make a co uh, constitution saving throw for me. Oh, God. That's big, that's big boy damage. Yeah. He said it's not that dangerous. What? Nat 20. Okay, nat 20. Okay, in which case, um, as the bolt hits you, uh, you feel the, the head of it shatter against you, and acid um, douses you. Um, but from it, you only take six points of acid damage. Uh, so 17 altogether. Um, and I'd like you all to roll initiative, please. Oh, good. Great. Yeah. And if actually, if you just bear with me one second, actually, before we roll initiative, I'll put you onto the panel, man. That pretty much took my health to half. Yeah, I was going to say, you got a Like, that was. I got you, buddy. I drilled you. I will help out as best as I can, but wow, that was a lot. Right. It's a driller in the forest. Apologies. So you'll all be towards the top of the path here. Oh yeah. god! And click and drag your tokens from the the journal side of things. They should all be assigned. Somebody's not the GM. I'm not going to do it unless Craig tells me to. Wow! <laughs> wow. 
I get That's any crazy. chance to rebel against your authority, Joe. I know, right? <laughs> Every time. I don't get to very often. So. <laughs> uh, nice. Okay, and then... Token. Click. Do thing. Boom. Oh, not that high. Um, wow, I got no. three initiatives. Wait, is that... Um, uh, yours looks right. Illavos? Yeah, I'll, I only see the one from you. Yeah. No, I'm kidding, because I rolled a three. Oh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. There's, I don't see three. Well. <sighs> Except the big three. That's the three. <laughs> see, no. Oh. See, what they didn't tell you is we're working in reverse order. So technically, that means you go. You first. are first. Excellent. Yeah, look at you go. Wow, that's crazy. Well, actually, um, so that was a, a surprise round. Um, oh, good. And um, I rolled a 15. The driller um, in the mist is going to wow. go again, yeah. and we're going to get shot again. I'm afraid it does get another go. Um, Dude, we are well and truly kind of fucked here, huh, already? <laughs> if it did half of Eric's health, I'm dead. Like, that's it, guys. <laughs> um, I mean, it will... Um, let's see. Um, Okay, so what will happen is uh, another crossbow bolt will come flying out of the jungle to your right. Again, this one will target Uruk. Um, let's see, for a... Uh, okay, that was a 13. I only, only rolled a 13 hit. on it. Okay, <clears throat> so that does not hit. Um, and I would like you all to make a perception check. And this oh, isn't your action or, or anything like that. 15. Um, Eight. 17. Okay. Um, <laughs> Uruk and Dro, um, looking off to, you can tell from where the crossbow bolt came from, and from a bend in the, the branch, you can tell roughly there is a creature uh, that you would assume to be invisible, um, sitting on a tree, um, just if I ping here, um, up in the, the treetops. Right, ping again? A ping? Ping, yeah, one more time. Can you see my ping? Or Cannot. Uh, make sure you're on you the right layer. Oh, on the I'm on. GM I'm on. Layer. I'm on the GM layer. That's there you it. go. If I do that, oh, okay, there okay. we go. Sorry, silly me, silly me. <laughs> Third best GM in the game. And <laughs> 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 um, but that ends its turn. Um, Sabaz. What? Well, well, where did I come from? Uh, Uruk. Uruk, are you? Uh, does Uruk, how do you look, bud? Oh, I mean, a thirteen out of thirty-four. That's some really complicated math coming from you, bud, but here you go. I'm going to press my healing potion into his hand. Uh, so he at least has that. And then look about. I did not roll very high on my perception. Am I even aware of this thing and its location? I mean, you're aware in the sense that you saw a crossbow come flying out from the, the trees. But I would say, I mean, to an extent, you guys are free to talk and share information. Sure. Um, as long as it's not like a paragraph or, or something, I don't know. Okay, uh, giving him my healing potion. Is that any one of my actions here, or can I do that? Um, that would be a bonus action, I'd okay, say. So we're, all right, Eric, you get my, my thing, and I ask, anyone see it? Did anyone see where it came from? Uh, it came from the general vicinity of that pink. Sure. Look up that way. What do I see? I suggest you all get behind me, and I'm going to sling my shield off my back and hold my <laughs> Warhammer one end. I mean, it's been pointed out to you roughly where it is, Sabaz, but yeah. I would say with your, we're still going by your 8%. You can't deduce from the, the thickness of the, the jungle um, okay. what may be out there. I watch that area you just know roughly where it is. and ready the action Vicious Mockery if and when I see Thing with Crossbow. Okay. That ends your turn. Draw. So just just for clarification's sake, <clears throat> um, Uru can I have a better idea of exactly where it is? Yeah, you can pretty much know you know exactly where it is almost. Okay. Um, you still be disadvantaged. You still have a disadvantage to attack it, um, but right. you have a very good idea of where it is. Okay. Um, you know what I'm doing? I'm gonna whip out the short bow. I'm gonna take a chance. I'll I'll uh, I'll disadvantage on it. Okay. Uh, let's click on disadvantage and... Oh, well, yeah. Who okay. needs disadvantage when you can just roll 16. double 16s? <laughs> I'm afraid that is a miss, though. What? Um, what? <laughs> what? As oh, you um, fire wait, 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 your... Wait a minute, wait a minute. It, it, wait, wait. I, I, I might uh -huh. have... Oh, wait, no. That uh -huh. doesn't help me. Never Let mind. Him cook. I'm screwed! I'm screwed! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so, <laughs> anything else? 
Uh, he throws his bow on the ground and no, I don't, I don't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Beg for he mercy. Just, he, he's a uh, um. Dr- Dro is just gonna sit there when he fires his arrow. It finds no purchase. He realizes it's not hit anything. He is going to just kind of like sit there, just like. When I notice him uh, pausing uh, after, uh, could I could I turn and shout at him again to get behind me? Yeah, well, it's still your <laughs> turn, yeah. your wazzock. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, and and that is also what I will do. I'm gonna like be like, yeah, let me let me get like right in there. Let me like I'll try like squeeze him. I'll be obviously. And... I have no idea where it is, but I I am trying to like cover everyone with my shield. I'm I'm it. going. Like I'm gonna hide behind you, but I'm also gonna like hold on to your leg, and then I'm gonna <laughs> point. I'm gonna point in this direction. Okay, that is, like, yeah, somewhere over there. Be like, I'm like, that's over there. It's over there. It's over there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can let go now. Are you sure? <laughs> uh, for now, but yeah. I, but I feel so safe. <laughs> I let go. <laughs> okay, uh, Uruk. After receiving a mighty bolt uh, from the jungle, what would you like to do? Uh, using that health potion, an action or bonus action? Uh, it's a bonus action. Okay, I'll use that as a bonus action. Uh, is that just so? What? Which one was that, Joel? I believe it was just a standard one, right? So it's just two d four plus two. Four. Yeah, two d four plus two. Plus two. Yeah. Okay. Gonna so eight here. Back, and then I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, Oh, yeah, eight back, and then I'm gonna use as my action. I'm gonna use cure wounds on myself as I pour that healing uh, potion into that mud that's all over my body, <laughs> and then use that to pack my wounds full of this. Oh, like potion. a little homemade <laughs> poultice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pretty clever. Uh, <laughs> Eric's more clever than we give him credit for. I think you know he's a, he's a, uh, he's the, the 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 hunter supreme. I guess yeah, nature boy. It does not want to rule this, so let's see. Oh, it may be uh, prompting you at like what level, which is a pop up that might happen on your oh, screen there it is. somewhere. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Five. Plus, plus, plus another five. Okay, cool. And that'll be my that'll be my turn. Okay, Ilvos. Uh, okay, I'm going to. Hmm, that's a good question. I don't really know precisely where it is enough to like take a shot, right? Uh, no. Well, actually, what Joel's point out to you, um, I'll tell you what, as a free action, you can make another perception check. Okay. So that's, generous. That sounds like a good idea. Well, this uh, thing 15. isn't. Okay. Um, a 15. Yeah, you do see um, where the branch bends. Um, and after being pointed out by Drew, you can you have a very good idea where it is. So you can make an attack. It will still be a disadvantage, though, as it is invisible. It- how high up is it? You say, but um, um, it is about thirty feet up. Uh, okay, it's in the very I'm gonna room. use a bonus action uh, and actually cast spiritual weapon and summon a spiritual sword next to it on on the bending branch, and like have that swing oh, at it. Okay. Oh, I th- okay. Never mind. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, is that allowed? I, is yeah, no, you can you can do that. Fantastic. It will be a disadvantage, but go yeah, ahead. that's fine. All right. Uh, that is a nine, unfortunately. Oh no! <laughs> okay, uh, a nine misses, I'm afraid. Okay. So, uh, go ahead, Joel. Oh, I was just gonna say, like, does does any of this has any of this gotten to Sabaz at a point where he can see the target? Uh, I guess the spiritual weapon being summoned next to it at this point, you you know where it is, um, but I don't know for vicious mockery. Enough does the, to you mock be able to see the. Do you have to, for Vicious Mockery's text, does it say you have to see the creature? Like a I creature you can Anybody so. standing in trees is dumb. A creature you can see and can hear you. Okay. Um, so you can't see it. Bitch. Um, All right. Never mind. <laughs> do I know the... Okay. So I know the tree it's in, right? Mm-hmm. How far is the base of the tree from me? Um, the base of the tree from you is um, 30 feet. Okay, I'm going to run to the base of the tree it's in. So I've got an idea, and I'm going to run wherever it is. You can move me to. Wait, you just told us is. to stay behind. Ah. Well, you're still behind me. Shut up. <laughs> and I'm going to run to the base of the tree. All right, fantastic. And uh, with my Warhammer out, I'm going to booming blade attack the base of the tree, which should <laughs> result in a thunderous blast striking the tree. Okay. Um, 
Would you like to roll an attack on the tree? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't think so. Why don't you... I mean... Why don't you roll damage? I mean, are you trying to blow the tree up with like no, a single I'm trying more, Well, I think it would be more trying to like shake the tree. Shake or? the tree so much, I want to make the thing fall out. Okay. Let okay, the, that'd be pretty high damage for for that to have an effect. I would say, but let's see how you do. I guess. <laughs> what do you want me? What do you want me to roll? Um, just roll. Just, just roll a, a hit just, with a blade. Uh, yeah, roll um, with your warhammer damage. Thirteen. Plus the, Nine bludgeoning. 13. And four thunder. Okay. Um, Let them fight. Let them fight. <laughs> Let them fight. I wouldn't say it's enough, but the the branch it's on wobbles, uh, and you do hear the sounds of the the fiber of the branch branch cracking. Um, I suspect that it, bonus action. Why am I such a babook? All right. Well, I thought you were going to use your bonus action to cut the branch it was on with your spiritual weapon. <laughs> well, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not really sure how spiritual weapon manifest can it do that maybe it can i don't, I don't know uh, anyway it technically deals force damage so it's yeah. not really like the actual weapon you know that's true so I don't uh, know. but anyway nonetheless is that the end of your turn uh yes i angrily run at a tree hit it and end my turn <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> okay um master of tactics ilavos um, Thank you. So, um, <laughs> I was like, I'm the war god's chosen. <laughs> so, Just kidding, my god's actually a fishing god, but I don't tell anyone that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, the creature will get to move again, and in case you haven't guessed it, it is the same creature <gasps> that you Shocked. saw. Um, a what? From the, the river. He was just thing. watching us last um, time. Wow. But. <clears throat> With speed that, because um, this creature is large, with speed that um, belays its size, and Joel, I will come to you in a second. So, well, actually, why don't you Vicious Mockery me first, actually? I uh, mock yeah. him! Uh, let's, let's see, Viciously Mock! It's a DC 14 wisdom saving throw. Okay. For three psychic damage. Uh, so I got a 15. Um, well, then it does nothing! I say, okay. come out, you coward! And then they see him and they go, oh, it's you! Shit. You're actually really scary. Yeah, you're kind oh. of spooky. I'll uh, do something better next time. Good so, luck in the um, with the creature's invisibility dropping, it descends the tree with um, rapid speed and lands next to you, the voice. And you get um, a close look next to it. In fact, one thing you first notice as it approaches you is the smell of sulfur that emanates from it. It reminds you of the state. It is the exact same smell that you smell in the cave. Um, but the, the creature is tremendously large. And one thing that your eye is drawn to is the very ornate looking crossbow um, that's slung across its back now. Um, it is carved intricately with infernal runes um, that almost seem to, to cause you pain as you look upon it. Um, but the creature will draw a dagger from its waist. And as it does so, fire ignites along the blade and it will attempt to, to stab you with its infernal dagger uh, for a non-natural 20. That Jesus. Does Just. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, so from that, you take uh, first 12 slashing damage. I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Mm. Right, like 18. Okay, you fucking saved it. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so from that, you take... Um, only 14 poison damage. Um, okay. That's it. <laughs> only? Um, <laughs> only? <laughs> only? Um, Craig, I appear to have accidentally made my character at level 4 instead of 14. <laughs> but, uh, don't worry. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Don't worry. Um, oh, but that God. ends its turn. It only has one attack. Um, Great. Good. So, Sabaz. I will you, attempt to dissonantly whisper him. Wait a fuck, tick. Dissonantly whisper him. Yes. Uh, okay. I'm sure this will go well in some way. Uh, it's going to be another one of those saving throw kind of jams. Okay. 14. Uh, them save. Uh, that's a five from yes. me for that. It takes seven psychic damage and then must move as far as its speed allows away from me. Okay, and that's his reaction, is it? It is a reaction for him to do so, and Illavos, since it is movement and not a forced move, can take attacks of opportunity. Hooray. Okay. Um, so yeah, it will it will do that. Um, with a look of almost confusion across its face, it... Um, I don't oh, anticipate me to... Okay, so you want to roll damage? 
Uh, Get him in the house! 13. 13. Okay, so... 13. Um, the creature moves. I'm just going to leave it where it is, but it is 30 feet away to Ilio, um, Ilivos's west. Um, anything else? Get away from Ilivos! Um, and then I would like to bardically inspire Uruk. I turn and I look at him. Big man, you're up. Go make him pay for that crossbow bolt. I'll give him a pat. Okay. Um, before we get to Uruk, though, it is Dro's turn. So it's so he's visible now. So he's visible now. Yeah. I, I no longer have disadvantage on if I uh, if I shoot at him. Uh, That's correct. I'm gonna I'm going at him with the cross uh, with that cross uh, with the short bow. Uh, and twenty five hits. Twenty five, yeah. And then uh, six. six and do I? No, uh, because I made him I run ten... away. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, uh, do I get? Well, I guess. Well, technically, you say he's still close to. Is he still kind of like? He's thirty feet away from all of those now. Yeah, he's oh, not. He's not yeah, next. I, to that. I, I just. I, yeah, I just. Okay. I, I didn't anticipate him the battle map to be that wide. So. <laughs> oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So no sneak attack then. Um, yeah, my bad. Uh, I'll, I'll no, that that is fine because he still takes a hit. Uh, he still takes a hit, so that that's good enough for me. Um, with that, I am actually going to just get behind. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get behind Uruk, and that is my turn. Okay, Uruk. Uh, he's gonna pull out his uh, <clears throat> his bow and bonus action hunter's mark. Oh, uh, onto it. And then I'm going to shoot with the bow. Might as well use that inspo. What's the inspo? Uh, you, you can make the decision after you roll, uh, oh, but it'll be a, a, a d6 to roll on top of whatever your result is. So, uh, so 17 does hit. Okay, so I'll save the inspo. 17 hits, uh, and then we'll do the uh, eight piercing, uh, five for the... Uh, Hunter's Mark, so 13, yep. and then I'm going to also use my Colossus Slayer to add another D8. Get him, get him, get him. So another three, so that's uh, 16, 16 total. Okay. The uh, he Actually, I'm just going to I'm going to take the bolt out of my own chest and fire it back at him in that boat. <laughs> <laughs> Rip it I out do like chest. that. <laughs> Send it back for 16. And that's it. Okay. Um, all right. Um, Ilivos. Hmm. All right. I'm going to, uh, first off as my bonus action, send Mr. Spiritual Weapon after him and, uh, and hit him. Okay. It's going to be, that's my Spiritual Weapon roll. There it is. An eight. Fantastic. You're doing an excellent job. Uh, and then I'm going to, seeing as I'm pretty much on death's door. I'm going to back up a little bit. I'm assuming there's just a ton of trees around here. I'm going to Pretty back much, up yeah. a bit, like sort of back to the edge of the group, kind of, and duck behind a tree. And I am going to... Hmm. I'm... Hmm, which one do I want to do? Do you know what? I'm going to cast a concentration spell on myself. And I'm going to cast protection from evil and good. Mm. So. Okay. Uh, which is concentration, and it takes my action, so that will be the end. Wait, uh, yeah, that's the end of my turn. Okay, uh, so back to the creature. Um, it looks towards all of you, um, and once again, that same laughter that you heard around the pit of mud um, echoes, and it vanishes from sight. Um, you hear the sound as it moves through the, the foliage further to your west. Um, but it disappears. Great. Hmm. <clears throat> well. Ah. Uh, shit. Do we? Do we keep? We should go after it. Uh, should we? <laughs> Elavos, do you see it? Sorry, Sabaz. I just need a second. Uh, I managed to replace most of the sweat in my armor with my own blood, so. 
Give me a second. I'm right, sort of hang on. Bandaging myself up desperately. Yeah. I'm gonna again go to Uruk. Uruk, you got you got your your mark on it, right? He is mm -hmm. Hunter's mark. Mm -hmm. We could potentially pursue if you think it's wise. I, I say wise, but I'm talking to Uruk here. <laughs> uh, Uruk's got <laughs> just, it marked. He's gonna, we, he's gonna just shrug his shoulders like. Yeah, he's like, I don't know. How, how long can you keep it marked for, my friend? Oh man, that's a good question. That's, that's an hour. It lasts. But if right, I can yeah. get healed up, I'm in a better state now to chase it than I will be soon. My protection magic might help me against it. Well, I am out of potions, my friend. I don't have much in the way of healing. Oh, I can heal myself if you just give me oh. about 18 seconds. All right. Do... Uh, DM, do we notice any, like... Um... Like, any telltale marks or... Uh, anything, like, from where the creature was? Like, do we... Like, we, we've hit it. Do we notice, like, if it's left behind any, like... Like, markings? Any, like, you... Trails of blood, anything? Sure. No, I would say there there is a trail um, from where it basically dropped on top of Ilivos. There is a large three-toed footprint, which you actually recognize. You have seen it before, uh, if you remember, when you came across the headless bodies the first time. I Shot. believe you. Yeah. Um, yes. Mm. <laughs> uh, and there is small sp uh, splatters of green blood. It's a little hard to see um, in the jungle, uh, but you can follow the path um, that its tracks, um, or that its tracks have made, if you'd like. Okay. Oh. Well. Uruk's got it sent. Oh, uh, Ilavos, 18 seconds we pursue, or do we just let Uruk keep. Oh, I uh, can. No, I can heal myself on the way. It'll be fine. All right. Craig, are we out of combat or still in combat? Uh, you guys are out of combat, basically. Okay, Unless you specifically tell me you want to start doing this in combat order. No, um, or if okay. you... I don't, I don't no. think so. Okay. It's just for the sake of cure wins in myself. Okay. In which right. case, I'll remove the turn order and take us off the battle map. <laughs> Gonna do it twice. Right. Okay. That perfectly puts me back to max. There you go. Look at that. Wonderful. So, what's the plan? <sighs> Normally, I'd say pursue. Um, any well, ideas? It seems to be planning attacks on us, so perhaps taking the fight to it is a better idea. Because otherwise, it's just going to set us up in some sort of trap again. And we do have the advantage with Uruk's mark on it. We could probably find it pretty easily. I'm still protected from it, I think. Maybe, as well. How, lo so. how long can you hold that up? Oh, about ten minutes. Shit. All right, then we must well, move quickly, if we quickly, find huh? it quick. All right. All right, Uruk, you've got the set. Uruk, why don't you, yeah, Uruk, why don't you make a either survival or perception check to track the creature at advantage with your hunter's okay. mark? Okay, hell yeah. Well, let me see. Get like the bloodhound on Same either way. Natural 20. natural 20. Okay. <laughs> God damn it. That's the point. That's the <laughs> sure. point. Sure. Um, so you first track the creature to where you saw it disappear. Um, and you find that spot quite easily. Um, you can see there are uh, spots of its blood on the ground. Um, and you can see once it turned invisible, it moved at a very rapid pace. You would assume it was dashing. Um... And it traveled, and I assume, you just tell me if you want to stop following um, at any point, but otherwise, it travels for um, about 100 feet through the jungle um, until it comes to the base of a large tree um, that it climbs. You can see gouge marks in the woods, um, as well as spots of its blood. How tall is the tree as we look up it? Um... Let me roll for this, actually, just to give you guys a fair chance. So it's not like a four fair chance. Four, yeah, four. <laughs> he said big tree. He meant the biggest tree. <laughs> the biggest tree in all the forest. <laughs> the biggest, um, tallest tree you've ever seen. No, it's, um, it's 16 feet tall. 16? Oh, yeah. that's fun. Oh, please. Uruk? I mean, that looks like your job, right? Climb up that. See if you can't shove the thing out. 
I'll have it down in 30 seconds. Hell yeah. All right. <laughs> He's going to try to climb the tree. Go get okay. it, boy. Um, <laughs> I would say for Uruk, it's probably, I wouldn't make you roll or, or do a check. You you climb the tree. Um, it's pretty straightforward. You find handholds on it. Um, and you can see um, an area of the tree where it looks to have leapt from this tree onto the canopy of the next one. Um, you can see an area where the branches have broken. Um I, I obviously am going to try to fall. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to try and jump from tree to tree? Yeah, of course. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Get it. <laughs> this is going to be tough. Rook. I know, uh, right? I'm, I'm a crocodile, <laughs> man. <laughs> One track mind. DMs like to okay. complain about players charging into anything they put in front of them, but Uruk really takes that fight to the DM. Oh, yeah. He's <laughs> ready, dude. <laughs> He's like, you think it may be in a tree 400 feet, but I go up the tree. Like, no. Fuck your tree, fuck your distance. <laughs> okay. Um, it's like I'm doing it. <laughs> sure. Um, so course, while we'll say, 16 feet? No, so I would say the first tree that jumps through, it is close enough just within. You can just use, you know, the, the rules for jumping to, to get to it. Mm. Um, the rest of you see Uruk uh, leaping from this tree. Um, it is quite a graceful leap. Um, he does look at home amongst the treetops. Um as he, as he jumps across to the next tree. Uruk, once again, you see it land in this tree and it has jumped to the next one. Again, there won't be a check for this. Um, but are the rest of you calling out or doing anything or are you just following Uruk from below? Try to follow him from below, yeah. Okay. Um, so, Uruk, as you follow the creature, it does seem to be moving faster than you. Um, but as you um, cross the treetops, there are points where the canopies of the tree... Um, or you're high enough up that you break through the canopy of the tree, I should say, and you see, and you can deduce, I would say, um, from the path that it's traveling on, you spot a large ruined tower um, far to the to the west um, that the path is leading towards. Uh, now you can keep following through the trees if you want to make sure, but based on its distance of travel, um, you get the impression that that's the direction that it's heading in. I'll, uh, he'll, he would look down... <clears throat> I found the creature's lair as he uh, <laughs> as he points he points in the direction for everyone else to know which way we're going, but he will remain in the trees as he as he traverses. Good work, Uruk. <laughs> Lead on. Sure. Okay. Um, so yeah, are you are you all just making your way towards the the tower then? Um, uh, yeah, I think we're doing this thing right. Oh okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're going in. We're going yeah. in. To the point. Full committed to this. <laughs> All right. He, he, he okay. shot our boy. We're going in. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, this is D and D. There are no other options. Yeah, we're sure. going. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One second, sorry, because I have to basically skip a bunch of stuff. Um, okay. Um, <laughs> that's fine. Um, we're going we, in. We <laughs> We did this. Um, no, it's fine. So you you journey. Um, it will take you um, what you assume to be um, probably about another hour. Uruk, I will say, jumping from treetop to treetop, you want to continue doing that. It is more tiring than walking, as you might guess. So <laughs> you would probably get a point of exhaustion by the time you arrived at the tower. Um, Fair but it's up to you if you want to keep doing it. Um, oh, you need to keep doing it. <laughs> okay. Um, for the for the rest of you, is there anything you'd like to do before you arrive at the tower? Eric's really getting after it up there, huh? That is, uh, wow. All right. Um, I think we just run. I I don't know what else we would do. Okay. Um, sure. So, you uh, journey at speed. And after about another hour of travel, so Uruk, you do get a point of exhaustion. You um, crest a small hill and arrive at the base of the tower. Um, so the stone tower itself looks to be in ruins, and the top of it has collapsed long ago. There's still a few walls um, standing around it, but the the remnant of the tower is just a large, crumbling, uh, circular stone wall uh, before you. The jungle clings to the edges of the structure, seeking a way inside, and you can see a small path um, up a small cliff leads towards the side of the tower where you can see an entrance. Well, that's our way inside. <clears throat> this far. All right. Uruk, still got a bead on it with your uh, mark there. 
He's just he's just pointing. Yeah, it <laughs> seems to be the case. All right, let's sniffing follow. the air. And, yeah. Okay. Let's follow the let's follow the hunt. Okay. Um. So at this point, there's no more trees that lead up to the tower, Uruk. So do you wish to descend to the forest floor? Um, yeah, yeah. He, he descends rapidly and just <laughs> like a like a stone. Okay. <laughs> Not oh, jumping the whole height, but Ow. like he climbs down really fast and makes it dramatic. <laughs> sure. Um, so Uruk joins the rest of you, and you begin to make your way up the small path that leads towards the the entrance. Um, now, is there any final things you guys would like to do before you move inside the tower? You keep asking me like we have options. Journey been? <laughs> I've just it's been about an hour. Fuck. Ah right. oh, shit. All right. So. Uh, well, that's what I was I'll asking. If, I, if you wanted to recast, I'll, any... I'll recast my protection on myself. Um, mm. I'll, I'll give another pat on the back to Uruk, and hey, here you go, buddy. Another inspiration for you. Uh, you've done real well so far. Take us to victory. It's a 10-minute thing, so it'd be gone. Oh, it was 10 minutes, that's right. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Um, so, um, well, I assume, Uruk, are you still in the lead? I, yeah, I don't see any reason anybody yeah. else wants it. Hell, no, okay. man, no, um, you can take that. that. <laughs> That's all you, bud. <laughs> okay. Um, just in case another crossbow bolt. Just yeah, comes right. It's all, on, it's all on Uruk, really. <laughs> okay. Um, so Uruk, followed by the rest of the party, uh, move towards the, the entrance of the tower. And as you um, move inside, one second, um, you are all assailed by a strong acrid stench that bites at your nostrils and this seems to be emanating from what looks like a large cauldron in one corner but as well as that there's also the recognizable stench of decay and blood and you can that comes from to your right are a pile of clothes decayed flesh and the floor and walls are just covered in dried blood um there's two large wooden tables that take up either side of the tower one appears to look like almost like a makeshift butcher's block um, with cleavers and flensing knives hanging around it. And the opposite table is covered in bones as well as an assortment of small, what looks like chiseling and carving tools. Um, on the shelves and across the ground are a mass of skulls and carved bones. Some have been carved and shaped into strange patterns and, and objects and others have, um, well, I guess Illavos you would recognize from seeing it on the crossbow, some infernal runes carved into the into the bone oh, itself. Good. There's an empty wicker cage that takes up um, another part of the tower, um, but standing um, before the cauldron with its back to you um, and surrounded by three imps is the same creature. Um, but it spots you as soon as you arrive, and I guess we'll just roll initiative. Oh! Yeah, all right. Yeah, sure. I was going to try and read some of those infernal glyphs, but never mind. <laughs> Let's um, go. So I'll put us no on time. the... No time. I'll put us on the, the battle map. Um, so you guys are um, at the entrance here, and I'll just reveal where the creature is in a second. I'll just move it. Oh, yeah, this there is, he is fine. You're not lying. Yeah, he is there. Uh, oh, God. Sick. All right, let's see what this initiative ends up being, huh? Five! Oh! Pain. Nine out Pain. of ten. Yes. Oh my god. Nine out of ten. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, I, well, I don't know if you noticed this, Joel, but I always roll. Horribly on initiative. It's I actually, yeah, I, I have noticed that. Roll. Yeah, it's, it's I can pretty, never ever roll my. You're like you're <laughs> to hit your time. damages, your whatever, always yeah. really high. But like this is this is atrocious. <laughs> yeah, I play I like literally rolled the exact same initiative from last. Uh, <laughs> I forgot. I forgot to clear the last initiative. Sorry, one second, guys. Oh, oh. Every, well, it doesn't matter. Every, like, mine's the oh, same. Mine's true. Mine's true. No, no, we're good. We're all right. We're right. Yeah, yeah it, it overwrites it. It overwrites. There we go. Okay, so. Uh, this imp got a 20. Why is every character I play like a creaky old man who hits for <laughs> 60 and attack but can't move? I <laughs> can't move. Like, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. All right, Uruk, you got this, buddy. Shit. On an eight. God, we are screwed from here, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jeez. wow. I mean, I will say you guys have damaged it quite a lot, and it's... 
Um, what initiative has Big Cheddar got, though? Um, yeah. He did get a 12. Oh, perfect. All right, so all four of them go before we can breathe. Sick, 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 sick. Mm. Um, I'm sorry, wait, hold on. I just need to go and look back at what his health was. <laughs> Craig, I kind of cast three. protection presumptively because based on its appearance, I'm assuming Illavos would assume it is one of the many types of creatures that uh, that's full effect. We've seen a lot well, of like, it, a, it is it, infernal it is evil too. and infernal right. runes. We've I wouldn't say it's a stretch stuff. to say that well, this it's actually may be... to do with what type of creature it is. It's not to do with its alignment, but it's like all the evil ones. It's like aberrations, celestials, elementals, fey fiends, and undead. So as long as it's one of them, I'm good. Um, one second, actually. Uh -huh. Sorry, can you say that again? It's aberrations, celestials, elementals, fey, fiends, and undead. It is a fiend. Yes. Okay. Sorry, I was thinking that devils and demons were different to fiends, no, but no, no, they're they're all fiends. They're fiends. All, all devils and demons are fiends. They're yeah, all fiends. Okay. We're all fiends. Uh -huh. The DMs are fiends. <laughs> the DM is Nonetheless, a fiend. Um, I'm protected. Let's go. Not, that's enough joking are around. Are we all fiends? Um, <laughs> uh, okay, so um, it's there, by the way, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Didn't the tell. first imp, um, which and it looked to be that the imps were actually bandaging and administering some sort of ungents to the um, to the creature, um, stop and swoop and fly towards um, you. The first one will come for you, Illavos. And that will be a um, an attack with its tail. That's a ten. That's a miss, and yeah. that ends its turn. Um, the creature will draw its crossbow. Um, as you can almost feel like you get a sense of panic from it, and it will um, fire a shot at you, Uric. This one um, is a nineteen to hit. That'll do. Okay, so um, this crossbow bolt, um, first of all, it does um, 10 piercing damage and um, 5 lightning damage. I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Okay. Come on, buddy. 13. 13. That's uh, a fail, I'm afraid. Wait, no, you don't. Um, inspiration. Do you have your... I got uh, Yes, A6. yes, you can, yes. Yes. Roll it up, Rook. 18. 18. Yes. You save. So as this crossbow bolt shatters across you, uh, you feel the lightning uh, damage arc across you, and you almost for a brief moment feel your limbs seize up, but you push through it. Um, and that would have paralyzed you for a minute if it hit oh, you. Oh, yeah. Um, so Inspired. That's a pretty, yeah. So right. a pretty good save. Um, but then the the creature um, will turn invisible uh, once again and disappear from sight. Bitch. Um, one second, sorry, because I'm just going to now move it. I just need to switch layers. Oh, now he's moving invisibly. <laughs> um, okay, that ends this turn. The this imp here will um, move towards you, Uruk, and make an attack with its tail. Uh, da, 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 da. That's dodge, a dodge, 12 to hit. Yes. It doesn't hit. It doesn't hit. And then the um, last one um, will go for you, Illavos. Um, that's a... Sorry, I keep switching to the wrong page. Uh, that's a 21. Uh, that does hit me. Oh, it does oh. have disadvantage, you know. Oh, it does have disadvantage. My mistake. It uh, is a feat. Another 21. Oh, another 21. That, that, that hits me again. <laughs> Very funny. Um... <laughs> So that's six uh, piercing damage okay. plus um, six poison damage. Probably. I've got to make a con uh, save. So max, max rolls, I will say. Uh, oh, I've just, I just succeed my con save. So okay. Perfect. Um, but that ends this turn. Okay. And Illavos, sure up. Uh, all right. I am going to make an attack against the very cheeky one that just tried to break my uh, con uh, constitution. I can't even talk. Whatever. I'm swapping to my maul. I'm hitting the imp up there. Uh, okay. Maul hit. Natural 20. 
That is 15 points of damage. Okay, um, with a hefty swing, you crack it across the jaw, spinning its head around, and you hear its neck snap as Excellent. it dies Hell and yeah. just disintegrates into ash before I'm then you, gonna use my clean. my war priest ability bonus action attack the one directly in front of me with my maul for a 14 oh. 14 hits for 11 points of bludgeoning okay damage. um so you swing crunching through its shoulder and uh, you hear the sound of bone snapping um but it is still alive yeah what a, what a dick uh, all right I have pretty much swung all I can swung it so I will just end my turn there. Okay. Burick. Is my Hunter's Mark still active on the... No, it has, been, it has been over an hour now since you've applied it. Then I will recast Hunter's Mark on the guy in front of me here. Okay. The bonus action, and then I will swing a sword at him. Get him. I'm sorry, and Craig. Just one thing. The imp was pushed back five feet as well. Okay. Because I have crushed uh, it. 17 does hit. for that and then I'm gonna roll my this is for the hunter's mark and then also my colossus slayer so that is 19 okay. points um, so yeah you, you, you stab straight through the stomach of this imp and it cries out and uh, also disintegrates and dies god damn Rick, right. hold a bit That's I have it. a spell that I want to cast forward That's of it. us don't step He's, he's gonna stay put. Yeah. Drone, Hold. it's your turn. Woo! Well. Oh my goodness. Uh, he's still invisible, correct? He is. Okay. Um, if we had a druid that could cast fairy fire. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, friends, I have prepared something similar. <laughs> Ooh, okay, all right. Well, you know. Uh, <laughs> I, I tell you what, here's what I'm gonna do. Um, Cause I, honestly, I can't do anything to him. Um, I'm gonna ready my short bow and uh, uh, ready action for if he rematerializes. Yeah. If he I'm becomes visible, basically. Yeah, yeah, no yeah if problem. he becomes visible again, I want to put a, a, a an arrow somewhere on his person. Okay. Sabaz. So I shall cast Fairy Fire. It's not similar. It's the same. In the same, in the center of the room, to cover every okay. square inch. The now I believe Fairy Fire does have a save throw, throw right? Dexterity okay. saving throw of fourteen. <clears throat> the four. Shit. Uh, okay. Um... <laughs> Come to me, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not gonna okay. lie. You would have missed that I, if he would have actually made that save. I would have cried. I know, right? <laughs> it was <been> terrible. <laughs> I got him. Uh, okay, you can delete your big, your big pink square now, Joe. Hell if yeah. you'd like. Um, so um, it is fairy fired and revealed. Drew, so, draw if you'd like to make your attack. <laughs> Well, wouldn't you know? Uh, now, let's see, where's this? Let's go. Let's short bow this bad boy. 21 to hit. That hits. And he do, well, as, and as that you is do, you do have as advantage. Note, oh, yeah, you advantage. do have advantage. Actually, sorry. Oh, yes. I have advantage. Yeah, that is correct. That is correct. So let's, let's, uh, can we, can we? Ooh. Oh, okay. Really? Almost. <laughs> what it almost, gives you almost. is almost. Almost. Is sneak attack. Because you have it advantage. That's true. Does. Come on, sneak attack gods! Oh shit! <laughs> oh wait, 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 Wrong wait, god. wait, 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 wait. What are we? we what are I we? Think, what, I think uh, maybe, no. maybe, uh, because that's a one. That was that, that was a one on the attack roll. Attack damage. Uh, I have uh, let's see here. Uh oh yeah, I have lucky. Uh, I have lucky. So it says when you roll. <laughs> let's see. Or I guess, well, no, I guess I would it's only on a, count for the attack roll. It's a, attack D, roll, it's a not... D20 roll only. Unfortunately, oh, Lucky doesn't apply it, to, so... to damage. Mm, I, like, yeah. As I was reading it, I got sadder yeah, and I sadder. Know, I was just like... 
Dang but it. You've still, do, you still done 14 damage, which is, yeah, just, which okay. is no small amount. Um, <laughs> I have done as much damage to him as he's done to everyone else. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. So I'll take that. That, that is, uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to backpedal just a bit. Oh, it's not your, it's unfortunately not your turn. You'd already. Oh, that's, that's right. True. That's it's right. I did, a, I did a re That's right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Never mind. I'm literally just staying Sorry. exactly where I am. Okay. I'm not moving. Good, good choice. Yeah. I'm done. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right. So, Baz, have you got anything else? Bonus action, movement, anything you'd like to do? Uh, I can supply a, a bit of a bonus here as well. Inavos, take yourself some inspiration. Thank you. I'm, I'm very inspired. Perfect. Ah, uh, that's it then. Okay. Um, Inavos, after striking this uh, imp, it will uh, fly back towards you and once again go for a stab with its tail against you um, that's a 7 to hit uh, yeah, which is a miss seven. that ends its turn uh, however the creature um, now one second um, okay Don't so it is a concentration me. spell Don't um, touch me! <laughs> so um, the creature will um Climb 20 feet up the wall in order to get a good angle on you, Sabaz. Um, and then, with, with two of its limbs still holding onto the wall, it will draw its crossbow and attempt to hit you with. Um, now, which crossbow bolt? How do you know? For? It wasn't me! It was um, one of the other yahoos. I don't have a great armor class. Okay, guys, actually, so. um, <laughs> this is not gonna be what, good. what we'll do instead, because you're all so perfectly uh, close together, um, it will fire a crossbow bolt um, around about here. Um, so it's a 20 uh, or a 10 foot radius, um, which we'll get all of you and the imp. Um, and I need all of you to make a constitution saving throw. Sick. Oh, okay. Natural one. Nine. Okay, oh, Dro and Ilivos, you guys both save. You only take half damage. So, um... Good night. It's, well. um, 22 damage um, <laughs> from that. Ooh, okay, Dude. I'm down. And, of, and half for those who saved. The imp uh, is completely God. blown apart um, and disintegrates. That's my, co that's um, my concentration, by the way. So. Okay. I put, that put me in a negative 11. I also need to roll <laughs> concentration. It's a DC 11. I rolled a 13. Okay. I so the creature's so still hurt. outlined. Um, and Uric, you are down. Um, but that ends his turn. Man. So now you guys got four actions to that you can do whatever you want with. You know? So. Do you have anything Ooh. for Uruk? Um, uh, I was, I was asking. Ahead, yeah. We both made yeah. very terrified noises. <laughs> you can illustrate your fear first. <laughs> no, no, no. I just, honestly, I was thinking out loud. I didn't even mean to. Oh, well, I'm terrified <laughs> anyway. Um, I'm going to move a little bit away from the rest of you in case. In case that happens again? again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, just that far for now. Um,. I'm not going to heal Uruk right now, apologies, because we kind of have to kill the thing. Uh, I'm going to use one of my remaining spell slots. I'm going to fire a Guiding Bolt at him, Craig, which I think okay, will have advantage, ahead. right? Because he's uh, it is very fired. Christmas tree. He is still very fired. 17. 17 does hit. Four. 10 radiant damage. Nice. Okay. And I will then cast... Uh, no, I won't. Sorry, that's not the same speed that I thought it was. All right. Well, that kind of scuffs my plan. I was going to spare the dying on Uruk, but I, it's not a no, bonus action, which no, I thought it was. Not. Wow, I really thought it was. Uh, I'm going to go... It should be. If you it really should, should be. be. It it should be. If you're a death cleric, it is. Ah, uh, there you yeah. go. That's a, that's a useful feat for them to have. That's been relevant once. <laughs> um, you could be a life cleric thing. Right, right? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Yeah. I love anyway, death. Uh, I don't want this guy to die. <laughs> I'm going to spread out a little bit more from the group, and uh, I'll end my turn there. Oh, oh okay. and also, the, I mean, he already does, but in case he loses the fairy fire, the next attack against him has advantage. Still has advantage, yeah. Okay. 
How does that work? I guess we'll just keep the fairy fire advantage until it, until that. Right. So if, if I if out. I lose it, it then doubles it. So you roll four times. Right. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> guiding guiding bolt supersedes fairy fire, and like yeah. the next attack against it takes the guiding bolt mark. All right. Okay. So it's like if I lose it between now and he then. He is so sparkly right now. He's, he's got very fairy, fairy yeah, guiding up. bolt. He looks, looks like fabulous. A Christmas tree. I, I, um, I guess that yeah. ends is. That ends your turn, Ilavosin. Uruk, if you'd like to make a death saving throw for me. Come on, buddy. A 19. 19, a success. Dro, uh, kill the thing. Drew. I'll help Uruk. Uh, so here's what I'm going to do. He's, uh, uh, if I were to just dump a potion into Uruk's mouth, would that be considered a bonus action? I know drinking um, one is. Can unconscious do, people swallow potions? I, I would say I, I would say yes, because it's like, you know, it's like an unconscious reaction, I think. Um, but it would be an action to feed someone else uh, a healing potion. <laughs> toss it here. I wish this was like Baldur's Gate through. I could just throw it throw at it. it. <laughs> to- just toss it to me, Dro. Toss it. I'll help oh, him. Yes. Yes. That's what. We, that, okay. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, would that? Would, could I do that as a bonus action? Yeah, that's, that's a bonus to- action. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. That's what I'm doing. I'm gonna take. I have a potion. Uh, just it's a just regular potion of healing. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna chuck it to Sabaz. And then immediately turn, and I'm gonna try and put one on this guy. This, he's still fairy fired, correct? He's still fairy fired. He's still advantage. guiding bolts. So he'll have advantage, no yeah. problem whatsoever. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Up oh, natural twenty. That was pretty good for the rogue to get. <laughs> let's go. Oh, we're gonna, and I. I still get to take him to sneak attack town too. Yeah, you, you do. Yeah, you, can you get toggle. double all those dice. If as you well. toggle your your sneak on on your sheet and then hit the short bow, it'll roll all of them at the same time. Whoa! Yeah, 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 yeah. Here, just to like just click on it in the chat. No, so like so if you have your sneak attack box toggled under your attacks and spellcasting, you know where the damage is. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you just yeah, turn see, that turn that box blue and then click the short bow under the twenty six. And it'll auto roll all your crit die. Got you. Okay. Man, look, they are really playing with me right now with this <laughs> uh, with this damage. Wow, I, okay. I'm 15, not gonna lie. So this, 26 altogether. This damage is still mad disrespectful. I don't appreciate <laughs> that, it. That, I don't. <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> I will say, this creature is looking very, very injured, very wounded. You can see blood flowing freely from several wounds. Um, Ooh, good, so. good, good. Um. Also, at this precise moment, uh, I've, I've tossed the the I've already tossed the, the potion. I'm going to back up just a little bit just to put just a little more distance between uh, ourselves. And yeah, and then that's the end of my turn. OK, so as uh, yeah, I mean, step potion 2d4 plus two for Uruk seven. To give him back that, uh, and then with that, I'll also give him a pat and another bardic inspiration. You got this, buddy. Get on up, and I will take okay. cover behind the wall <laughs> afterwards. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. Um, so Uruk is lying on the ground, but he is up. Um, and that injury turns to pass, right? Nothing That's else? it. Yep. Okay. Um, so the creature will. Hmm. Illumos is a great it's, target <laughs> in the center there. <laughs> it is. It, um, let me roll for it because b- both Uruk and Illumos have been the most Utica. annoying against mm-hmm. it. Um, okay. You're um, nice, nicer than me. I had to put me back down. <laughs> <laughs> right now, um, dirty. Hesitated. <laughs> Don't give him ideas. The, Uruk, the lie creature, very still. <laughs> the the creature leaps from the wall. Um, and lands with a crash in front of you, Ilavos. And once again, it will draw that same dagger uh, you recognize from before and attempt to stab you with it um, for a 24. That's with disadvantage? Oh, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah 24 I'm with disadvantage. Looking out for you, buddy. You're <laughs> muted, Connor, by it's the way. Th- sorry, I'm muted. Yeah, that hits me. Yeah, sorry, I did okay. say that has disadvantage. Sorry, I have, I have a cough, which is why I keep muting if anyone's confused. Okay, so from that, you'd take 
I'm um, down. Whatever okay. it is, I'm probably... Unless, if it's more than seven, I'm down. It's more than seven. It's more um, than I'm So down. the dagger plunges into your uh, chest, and you feel um, poison begin to seep into your body, and you collapse down onto the ground. Um, Don't put so an that X ends his turn. Him. Don't put an X on yeah, him. I didn't put I, an A. I put that on himself. Put an X on him. We can uh, save I'll him, right? I'll put the arrows in my ass of being dead. <laughs> the arrows in my <laughs> ass. Okay. Uh, Elvos, is your go if you'd like to make a death saving throw for me. God. Uh, why is this not rolling? Let me read my character. Uh, Drew, what happened? <laughs> what? Okay, 18. Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> I shot him, but... <laughs> I, I, heard a, a lot of, I heard a lot of commotion. Is Elvos all right? <laughs> I... I think so. <laughs> I'm not sure. The knife is covered in his blood. It's just like, well, so many <laughs> arrows in his ass. <laughs> um, I think, okay. I, I think he suffered a flesh wound. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, Uric, it's your go. Okay. Uh, I will stand up, I suppose. Uh, okay. I'm down and I can still get there. Uh, yeah, yeah, so I'll yeah. stand up and... Run in with my sword drawn. Uh, yeah. Let's see. And first one. Is the fairy fire still up? Oh, I got the it. The fairy fire still, still up, on. yeah, but the, the guidance okay. is gone at this point. Uh, so 22 okay. hits. 22. And that's going to be eight points on that. Okay. And then I will two weapon fighting. I'll, I'll hit him again. Okay. Hand. Also, not to uh, hurt myself, but oh wait, no, you went down, so you don't have Under Smart anymore, yeah. do you? My bad. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, this will be this only. This will be three less than it shows. So sixteen to hit. Sixteen misses. Is, you okay. have you have your bardic, my friend, that I gave you. Oh wait, I do have the inspo. Oh, damn it. It's I a D six. You don't need to roll it one more on the on the 16. Well, it is 17 as oh, the AC, so... I got it. Uh, you even got the one as well. So. I've helped! <laughs> and that'll be another seven points of... God seven damn. points of piercing damage. Uh, okay. 15 total on that. And uh, anything it. else? That's it. Nope. Okay. Draw. Bring him down. Okay, let's do this. So, like I said, fairy fire is still in effect. Just uh, yeah. Just so you still got your advantage. All right. So I'm just gonna take the shot. Oh, yeah, no. twenty! Go! Another oh not twenty. Good. Oh, oh, it's so good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Oh. So bad. Really, game? Is it because <laughs> I'm a halfling? Is it? Because, is this? Is this? Ha I'm not gonna lie. I I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I feel like roll twenty is being racist against me because I'm a halfling. Is <laughs> because it because you're a it, is, this is it, it, it's both racist and ableist? I feel for for the game to be doing me this way, and I don't appreciate it. But uh, please tell me that killed him. <laughs> that, ki that killed. Him. <laughs> it's twenty three more. So yeah. You f you fire an arrow um, and sink it deep into one of the eyes across its head, and with that, the light in the eyes goes completely out. And the creature screeches um, before falling dead on the ground before you. I'm not going to lie. Out of sheer excitement, like just overwhelmed by this, I'm, I'm just going to I'm going to run and just stand on top of him <laughs> and be like, I got you. <laughs> I got you. I got you. <sighs> Meanwhile, Ilvos yeah, has arrows in his next ass. You, yeah, <laughs> Ilvos is coughing oh. up blood. It's, it, it's my it, turn no, next. Oh. I'll, I'll stabilize yeah, no, him. I, I, yeah, yeah, you can go up and, and stabilize <laughs> Ilvos. Anything you'd like to do. <sighs> I don't really have much else. I'm going to just try and stabilize, I hope. Medicine. Natural 20 on the medicine check. Mm. I pull all okay. of the arrows out of his ass. <laughs> many. There's so many. He didn't even leave any holes. No, like no, no, no scarring. There's no scarring. I did a really good job. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, you uh, Ilavos, you stand up and um, you see that the creature is dead. What would you guys like to do now? I suppose. Well, I, I suppose we pick through the pockets and see if we can't find yeah. anything. 
I'm, a, I, I'm, I'm running his pockets. I gotta run his pockets. I, and okay. I, would, I, I would like to read the infernal script we've kept coming across. Since I can read infernal. Mm. Um, sure. So, um, first of all, uh, Drew, why don't you make an investigation check? Investigation, let's go. Uh, I didn't mean, I meant to turn it back to normal, but yeah. Whichever still. one, whichever one. That's works. okay. No, your first, your first roll, so twenty four. So, um, the the two weapons that the creature has, when you go to touch, the, or well, I wouldn't. Um, when you your hand hovers close to them, you almost feel a burning sensation, and you get the impression that if you touch them, they would cause you extreme pain. Um, the weapons themselves seem heavily cursed in some manner, um, and are not something a neutral or good line creature can wield. Um, Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Um, however, so um, immediately. Grab it with Give it to Uruk, he'll eat it. <laughs> yeah, he'll eat it. There you go. <laughs> Roll constitution save, see if you can keep it down. Uh, all right. Um, through the... Um, the... The I wouldn't say as pockets, but across like the belts and pouches of the creature, there are various small bones and other small little carving tools that it that seems to have um, carried about on its person, as well as um, a vast array of different bolt heads that it could fire. Um, so uh, let me just check if there's any ones that we didn't see. One second, because um, some of them were pretty strong. Yeah, there's a blinding one and one that entangles people. Um, so you can take those. There's um, um, five of each, and I'll post what they are in the in the chat in a second. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm taking everything. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm cleaning this guy. I'm cleaning him out. I'm cleaning him out. I, I'm doing. I'm doing the. I'm hitting the take all button. Except, yes, well, no, sure. I'm not taking the take all button because I would get the, the other <laughs> stuff that would hurt me. But you get where I'm going. Sure. Please. There's one other item of relevance um, that sticks out to you, um, and it seems to be a. Um, perfectly kite shaped um, crystal gem that has a light blue color uh, to it and emanates with a, a small light inside of it. It doesn't quite fit with the aesthetic of this creature um, but you're not quite sure if this is a, a natural gemstone um, but it piques your interest. I am deaf. I'm actually, uh, once I've picked up everything else, I'm going to pick that up and I'm just going to like kind of turn and just start like just studying it, just like sure. Um, not cursed. <laughs> you can Look make an arcana check on that, and and we can come <laughs> back to to that in a second. Um, okay. For the rest of you, what would you like to do? I know nothing about this thing. <laughs> Reading the runes. You said there were some on the walls. The runes. Yeah. Uh, so it's across the. Um, there's several um, pieces of bone that have been carved into spirals and sculptures, basically. Um, but some of the um, the skulls have infernal runes carved into them, and it almost seems to be um, a rating, basically. Like, put up fight, honorable kill, um, or um, inattentive, um, dead immediately, stuff like that. It essentially seems to be the creature um, evaluated and described the the nature of the kills onto mm. each of the skulls of the people that um, they used to belong to. Ah. Well, <clears throat> seems that it was uh, hunting for sport, and it found uh, us a little bit harder of a target to kill. It's good. It's good. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Man truly is the most dangerous game. Or halfling, in this case. <laughs> You're damn right. <laughs> um, I would like to uh, carve into the wall, if I could, the date. Uh, today's date, whatever it might be. Uh, and say that, uh, with all the skulls there, uh, died to a bunch of yahoos. And uh, kind of leave it in the most disrespectful well, format I can. While sure. he's doing that, can I uh, see if there's anything identifying the victims or, you know, is there, is there anything 
any personal well, so there's, affectations. There's two two other things that uh, you guys haven't checked out. There's the bubbling cauldron where there's the kind of strong acrid stench coming from, and there's the big pile of. I mean, they're not quite bodies. It's basically lumps of flesh and clothes. Yeah, I'm, I'm and looking at like that. that. I'm, not, I'm, okay. I'm, not, I'm done you with the acrid the... stench. Okay. <laughs> The, the blumps of flesh and clothes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, if you want to make an investigation check on that. Two. <laughs> Two. Huge. Um, okay, I'm like, so... Yeah, the flesh. Okay, so... There would be other things you could find that would be just like gold and a few little bonus items, but the one thing that you do find, because it's kind of hard to miss, is in one of the coat pockets... Um, you come across a small leather journal. Um, or, well, it's not a journal, actually. It's a book that you pull out of it. It's quite thin, um, but embossed on the cover, it says... Sorry, one second. It says the Wavecaster... Or, sorry, the Transmission Wavecaster Operations Manual. Oh. <laughs> um, so if you want to flick it, you can make an intelligence check for me if you would like to open it to see if you can make sense of what it... Is about. I'm going to walk over and immediately hand it to Dro and be like, I found this. It looks <laughs> important. <laughs> Here you go. Uh, okay. It looks uh, oh, like something oh. you'd really enjoy. <laughs> okay, uh, Dro, before we come to that, so you got a nine on your arcana check for the, yes. the crystal. Um, so the only thing you can tell by looking at it closely is it kind of makes a small rainbow pattern against your hand when the light hits it at a certain angle, but other than that, um, you're not quite sure. But reading the... Well, if you want to read the the book, that will require an intelligence check to make sense of it. I did not mean to click on that, by the way. Uh, or did it even show up in didn't the chat? Show. Okay. Oh, never mind then. I thought I clicked on Potion of Healing. I meant to, like, just get rid of it. <laughs> 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 oh, there it is. I had to click a thing first. There you go. Hee <laughs> um, hee. For... Uh, you said, so all I, all I have to do is... <clears throat> Yeah, like, just roll I, I don't just get roll anything out of the... Nothing from the, 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 the crystal. Um, if you mm -hmm. want to roll an intelligence check for the reading the book. Okay, will do. <laughs> wow. We're okay. Really um, good. I'm a very slow reader. Mm. Uh... <laughs> Should have read it okay. myself. Um, <laughs> one moment. I swear. Um so looking through it, it is a very technical description for some sort of mechanical device that you can't make any sense of. However, there are some pictures and diagrams, um, and one of the things you recognize one of the pictures is the crystal in your other hand, and it references it as a, a, a powered crystal um, of some sort. Okay, 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 I'm with it, I'm with it, I'm feeling it. Uh, I guess, sh <laughs> should I, uh, I guess, should I... Where should I put all this in my uh in my uh inventory? I'm just gonna write it down. Sure. Um, I wouldn't think it's gonna be too too relevant. Uh, mm. so I wouldn't worry about tracking it too too okay. intently. Um, okay. um also the other stuff that I pulled off of the uh creature. Uh I, in out of character, I'm gonna ask everybody what they want, but in character, I'm just gonna be walking around just passing things out. Just like here you go, here you go, here you go, here you go. <laughs> sure. here you go. Christmas time, Christmas or whatever Christmas is in, in D. &D. Uh, <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> yeah, it's like here you go, here you go, here you go. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I though what I will do is uh I I'm gonna take the uh the the book itself and the gym just based on the uh the idea that there's some connection. Um, I'm actually gonna hand it. I'm gonna walk this over to Sabaz and see if maybe if we uh, put our heads uh, together. What do you want okay. me to do with this? Sabaz. Figure it out. <laughs> hey, this is one time I'm going to admit I, 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 I need some help here, okay? All Look, right. I, I, I've done a lot of work today, okay? I, I, <laughs> oh, I, you're I, right. I killed a big big green monster. Did, did a great I'm job. Tired. We lived. <laughs> we did. Mm. And we're rich. We're going to be rich. Hopefully. Um... <laughs> <laughs> if we can survive the experience yeah. uh, <laughs> but I'm going to uh, yeah I'm going to uh, uh, S S Sabaz could, could, yes. I'm, I'm actually I'm gonna I'm a call Sabaz <laughs> over like away from everybody else because I don't oh. want anyone else to know that I'm not that smart right. um, <clears throat> but like can, can, can we can we 
We're gonna powwow. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. Can that's we? Can we sidebar? Yeah. And we, yeah. Over here. Uh, and I, I'm gonna. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna kind of. I'm gonna just kind of hold this book out in this gym, and it's like, I, I, I tried to make heads or tails out of this, but I can't. Uh, maybe if we work together on this, maybe we can figure something out here. But there's some connection. <sighs> Sure. Somewhere. All right. Uh, let's see. We've got a rock and we've got a book. <laughs> it's a good start. Is anything? Uh, all right. Let's flip through some pages. So, Bass, why don't you make uh, another intelligence check? But this, you can have sure. advantage on this yeah, one. Great. Love two. that. I am not smart. <laughs> so. But that is a 16 DM, which is significantly 16. better than the things we've come across so far. Yes. Um, yes. So, putting it together, you um, get an idea of this device, and um, you can tell that by adjusting certain dials um, on a control panel, you can basically speak through different frequencies using the. There's like a, a, a large metal device with a grill um, that would be in front of it. Essentially, a microphone for us viewers at home. Um, but um, the crystal is used to power the device and is inserted into the housing unit. Um, mm. So you get the sense that to use the uh, transmitter, you would need a power crystal, which you luckily have. Oh, well, it seems that we've got everything that we need here, Dro. Uh, don't worry, everyone. Dro's figured it out. Give a little pat on his back there. Smartest one in the grid, right here. Uh, this crystal here uh, is our ticket to use the device and get off this God's forsaken island. With our gems in tow. Ah. Mm, so, good. Smell the pina coladas already. So, <laughs> do we take the infernal weaponry with us, or. I wouldn't touch that if I yeah, were. Yeah, I'm you. not a fan. So, but, but here's, should... here's the thing. What if someone comes by and finds well, those? Maybe we and should then gets... toss it in the cauldron or something, see what happens. Really hurt. We don't want to take it with us. Speaking of, Aruk's already investigating the cauldron. All right, nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, Aruk's already. Okay. Uruk, why don't you make either an investigation check or a nature check for that? Oh, uh, yeah, that's going to be nature. Probably. Nope. Oh, the same. Dang it. Did not mean to do that. 14. 14. Okay. Uh, it's good enough. From your time um, as a hunter, you've certainly skinned and boiled a lot of leather. Um, that sounded a bit weird to me to say that, actually. You know, <laughs> that sounded a bit sinister, almost. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, but from the um, the contents of the, the cauldron, you get the sense that... Um, Bones and skulls were placed in it to strip the final pieces of like um, sinew and cartilage and things like that off them to prepare them for being carved. Mm, great. He's just gonna lean over and just. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> what you what you find over there, big man? Uh, just a bunch of uh, body parts stewing in a pot. Are you hungry? No, no, I'm not. Um, I don't think that cauldron's going to be enough to uh, get rid of those weapons there, boys. Perhaps we should bury them, maybe? Mm. Yeah, I could bury them. I mean, uh, yeah, okay. Them so, so here's the thing. Um, I do think we could probably find a really good collector of these kinds of items and perhaps make off with a third payday. <laughs> well, if wait, you wait, want wait. to be the one to carry it's... them. Did someone say payday? That's what I'm saying, Dro. That is what I'm saying, yes. And Illavos, I mean, oh, I might... Um, perhaps we just try to wrap them in something first. Um, some cloth, perhaps. Uh, then place Wait a them minute. into a pack. Mm -hmm. a sack, did we, maybe. Did we not find a chest earlier? We uh, didn't. That was what the jammies were the, in. The uh, but you didn't yeah. take them with you because it was very yeah, heavy. Oh, that's right, it was. That's a day's mm -hmm. walk away now, so... Mm -hmm. I have a bag. Oh. Um, I would like to... Boot the 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 daggers into the bag. Sure. So it's just the one dagger. Um, but I assume you you lay your pack down, open the um, open, open up a sack, hole, and kind of yeah, kick, and just it, kick it in with your get feet. It in there, yeah, yeah. Sure. And the crossbow. The, this creature was very large, and right. I don't think it would fit into a conventional backpack. Um, at not, least in again, a subtle a, a, way. A sack, something to like strap to my backpack. Oh, I afterwards. see. Okay, so you're like, not trying like to a put. Bag. Okay, yeah. okay, so you could 
I assume you would have like either your bedroll or or something like something that to, you could fashion into a sack to, and yes. and carry it on that's, your back. Yes, that is the um, plan. I would like to do that. Sure. So if you want to carry both of them, that's fine. Mm-hmm. You do feel, um, I guess, great. Kind of like an evil heat. We'll say S- like you've got really bad, really bad sunstroke or something like that. Uh, um, I, you know, I, I do. The, I am from, you know, a lineage of the fiendish types. Uh, Yes, understood. Uh, uh, boys, I don't know how long I can actively carry this. Feels like a story I once heard about a halfling man climbing up a large fiery mountain to drop some sort of jewelry into it. But, um, sunstroke, I think, is what I've got here. Should we go? <laughs> right. Arub just, uh... He just yeah. He's just gonna go! <laughs> I, I'll make the way. trail, baby. <laughs> I guess, I guess, uh, I guess we're following. Right. Okay. Pay so day, where are Trump. you guys going? Payday. To the, to the thing with the thing with the gem and the thing to call our gyrocopter escape. Rook knows sure. all of this. For yes. Sure. I tell, I tell him all so, of this while he hacks through the forest. Whether or not he knows anything is up to him. Sure. So we'll just we'll just move through this bit quickly. So you make your way back to the the path um, that you originally um, split from to chase the the creature um, through the forest, um, and then continuing south from there, um, you crest the hill and um, or sorry, you descend a hill and you find yourself in um, what looks to be a, a small amount of civilization. Um, the sorry, my notes just got all jumbled up um, there seems to be uh, ahead of you two wooden structures um, one a large long wooden building with a pair of double doors and a, another is a smaller shack we looks to have a shining metal apparatus on the roof um, with large metal ant- antennas on top of it that pierce through the jungle canopy above and further along the path um, where the path ends you can see there's a large flat circular plateau that looks to have been um, almost carved out of the side of the the island, and just beyond that, you can see um, the shining blue sea. You get the impression you're very close to the edge of the island here. Oh, there's more people here. It seems. I don't see any reason to stop now. Anyone else? I mean, is that? I mean, shiny we've antenna. come this far. <laughs> right, shiny antenna. I think that's the thing, right? Antenna. Do I know that word, antenna? <laughs> to I wasn't sure. Honestly, to... I wasn't sure. I just wrote it because I thought, do I just write shiny metal sure. poles? We've got just shiny like... <laughs> antenna. We know what that is. Let's go yep. to that. Um, oh, I guess, like, you know, ants and stuff have antenna, right? right. So I don't know. It um, looks so vaguely like an insect's antenna. We should probably head that direction. <laughs> That's probably okay. for broadcasting. <laughs> I'm looking at the book, matching pictures, right? Like, ah, yeah, exactly. So as you, as you get close, you do recognize the, the device on top as the transmission wavecaster. Um, and you step aside the, the small structure. But the first thing you notice is there's a strong smell of decay and rot. Um, looking around inside, you can see that there is actually um, a body lying on one of the two beds in the room with a large knife buried in its chest up to the hilt. Um, there's also um, okay. a large desk with a variety of uh, dials and knobs with cables and metal pipes that lead up through a hole in the roof. And there seems to be a large metal device that you recognize as uh, from the, the journal uh, bolted to the center of the desk. And there's also another journal lying on the same desk. I feel like my internal monologue really glossed over the murder in the center of this room. Well, I want to make sure we got through <laughs> everything in that room on the first pass, so... Connor muted again. What would you like to investigate first? To be first? honest, there's Just... somebody murdered everywhere we go in this place, so... <clears throat> so this one does have a head, though, which you find odd. The re- most of them haven't. Oh, that's good. Connor, you're muted. Don't know yeah, what you're saying. Muted again. I was just taking the piss, don't worry. All right. Uh, well, journals. Who wants to read? Who wants to look at the body? I'll <sighs> read. Oh, <laughs> right, Haruk. <laughs> I don't know why I gave I you a choice. Haruk <laughs> is reading, everyone. <laughs> Watch okay. out. I don't know if he can read. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll come to, uh, we'll go for you first of all, so you want to make a, I guess, a medicine check to see if you can, I mean, it's clearly obvious what the cause of death is here, but. 
<laughs> you think? <laughs> I think it might be the knife. <laughs> Could be the dagger. Could be. Mm. Mm. But Good he does spot. remain with his head. I'm no doctor, but I think he's got a because <laughs> all of the blood is on the outside now. Yeah, that dagger's too far into his body. That's the issue. All right. Well, do you want to do any further looking, Elavos? Yeah, go on. The, sorry, Elavos, uh, do you want to make a medicine check for me? I don't yeah, know if you... Sure. Oh, sorry, I didn't hit for something. Six. He's dead. Six. He's dead. Uh, so looking dagger, at it, huh? you can't tell how long he is. Pretty, this guy is rotted quite a bit. There's a few flies buzzing around him. He's it's been skill, dead for a while. Mm. Yeah. Um, his skin is kind of a sickly gray color, but other than that, you, you can't determine too much. Um... Uruk for the journal. Um, so this seems to have been written. Uh, so, well, sorry. The inside cover, uh, first of all, has two. Um, well, I don't think Uruk would recognize it. They're just numbers um, on the inside cover. But written to next to each of the numbers is operations post, and the other one is cherry is written to the next uh, next to the other number. Um, but the inside also lists um, two transmission wavecaster operatives as. Beckel and Ruck, and the journal has been written across several weeks by Beckel, and the initial few weeks seem to be fairly standard, arranged supply drops and pick up of uh, mine minerals by hell or by gyrocopter, sorry, I should say. Um, however, five days ago, the entries become less a report on the transmissions and describing a rising tension between the two operators. Beckel reports that... Um, the mining shipment had not arrived, and Ruck had spent most of the day standing in the middle of the path, uh, silently staring at the jungle. Um, cool. The next day, um, Ruck frequently yelled at him, told him to open his eyes and that they were being watched and they should stop transmitting. And then on the third and last day, I recorded uh, Beckel reports that Ruck was missing for the whole day before reappearing covered in mud, proclaiming he had found it and that its nest was in the ruined tower to the west. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I oh, see. Good. You can see where you would be signposted there, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, however, he does state, if it bleeds, we can kill it. Um, um, however, he refused <laughs> to elaborate on what the what it was, uh, but screamed and yelled at Beckel when he went to report on the on the device. And finally, he yelled that the power crystal should be removed and that they should keep it on them instead. Uh, Beckel disagreed and went yeah. to bed, and that's the last entry. And then murder. And I was able to read none of that. <laughs> All right, what did you see? What's in the book? Uh, um, pictures. Perfect. Love that. All right. He just holds it. He holds it up to your face so you can read it. Yeah, just look at it. There are, are words, no pictures, not pictures in the book. Yeah, these are words. <laughs> okay. And then so you recognize. And do the yeah. Thing. So you recognize yeah. the the two numbers. Uh, the only thing are as frequencies that you could dial into the wave. So it was the operations um, post or Cherry. And I just want to remind you, because that's been a while, the gyrocopter pilot was called Cherry. Yes. If you have forgotten that. We're calling Cherry. We're getting the hells off this island. We saw sure. Uh, Crystal so you, slot. Yep, you, you, you place it into the housing unit. The device powers up. Um, you adjust the dials and... Um, yeah, what would you like to say into the microphone? <clears throat> is hello? Is this thing on? What is this? Is this thing? Hello? Hello? Um, <clears throat> so after um uh you hear kind of a distant shuffling um before the sounds of uh kind of a rustling noise before you hear uh, a voice calling out, "Well, hey there. Who's this?" Hello, this is uh, Sabaz, one of the people that was dropped off on the island. Oh. We totally not understanding like how microphone proximity or anything <laughs> sure. works shouting into it. Can you hear us? I, I can hear you mighty fine. You might want to take a stop. You don't need to yell. Um, uh -oh. I can hear you okay. Sure, um, yeah, all right. We it's been a few days. We've kind of given you up for dead. Is, is everything okay there? We are ready for pickup. No, things are not okay. Everyone's fucking dead. Well, except for us. So all, all of you survived and the we miners... Killed, the... We killed the thing that killed everyone else, we think. 
But we weren't paid to okay. do the investigation purposes of this. So, if you want more knowledge, I, I suppose, uh, pay for it. I got it, Dro. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll come and get you, but Balazar is definitely going to ask about the mining shipment. Were you able to recover that? Uh, yes, we were able to recover the shipment, though some of it seems to have been lost to lizard folk on the island. Okay, make a deception check on that one. Hell <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Don't worry, Dro, I'm trying. It's the one thing it, I'm you, good at. Boys, you, you, shit, you're doing well. Uh, oh, psych. <laughs> okay, I would like to inspire um, myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, Balazar will probably want to talk to you when you arrive, but I'll set off now. I should be there in a in a couple hours. Um, you, I think you're down by the uh, the barracks building. Uh, well, we're at the communications tower, but we can be wherever you like. Well, just further down from you, there should be a, a landing pad for me. That's where I'll where I'll meet you. All right, all right, boys. Landing pad, landing pad, landing pad. All right, sure. We'll set up. Oh, right. We'll be waiting with okay fifty percent of the shipment since the other fifty percent was lost to lizard folk. <laughs> Precise calculation. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, oh, shit, did I go too far? Yeah, shit, did I? Oh, don't go to Just keep going, just keep going. All right, all right, all right. Uh, all yes. right well. See you then. I'll see you shortly. Um, gosh. I, I mean, you rolled so high, now. and then you, then you had to fumble it there at the end. <laughs> <laughs> I'm once again surprised. It's okay. not a very smart man. <laughs> Okay, um, so yeah, you've, you've made your call. Uh, she said she'd be a few hours. Um, is there anything you guys would like to do? Fucking or wait. I, it is at this point kind of early evening. Um, it's not too late. Um, wait. I don't know. Sure. I think Sabaz is okay. thinking emeralds. We got money. Second, Almost maybe a yeah. secondary payday with the items to find a collector. Like... This is... I'm good. You yeah. guys, how, how do you I'm feel? I'm slowly recovering right, my uh, red blood cell yeah. count. Yeah, nice. <laughs> sure. sure. You're getting the color back in your cheeks. <laughs> just about. What about you, Uruk? Hmm. Just hunts around for food. Just hunting. For okay, food. well, I'll just quickly say so, Uruk, if you're looking for food, the other building, I'm uh, looking through it, there are two rooms inside of it. One of them seems to be kind of a, a, a bunkhouse. There's several beds made up, but they're empty. However, the other room seems to be some sort of storage room that's filled with dried and preserved food um, for. Um, several miners for several weeks, so you can kind of gorge to your heart's content. Um, as well as that, there's other various um, tools and um, spare clothes and other equipment um, for resupplying that sort of thing. Um, it, it rather than that, nothing to pocket with all that. <laughs> <laughs> much food as he can carry. Sure. Um, but yeah, there's nothing else. After a few hours, uh, you hear the distant sounds of rotor blades. Um, they seem to be hovering near the the landing pad to the south that uh, no one's gone to yet. Uh, We're on the way! To... Wait! Ah! <laughs> We're going! <laughs> Uruk, forget the food! Let's get the fuck out of here! Sure. I so can you carry it! <laughs> <laughs> Comes out just holding all this food. Oh, so, sprinting towards the... you know, I'm really disappointed no one said get to the chopper there, but what? No. Um, <laughs> um, the oh, gyrocopter oh, lands... Um, on the the circular plateau, um, you all pile in. Um, Cherry looks back at you and kind of sees Uruk um, covered in mud and blood, and Ilavos covered in blood, and the various sort of markings on you from traveling through the jungle, and just says, "Are you guys? Are you all right? Been better. Oh, I'm grand. And there's no other survivors. Not that we know of, and not that we're going to get out of here." All right, um, and with that, you you take off from the island. Um, you stare uh, whether or not you stare back at it. It slowly recedes in Absolutely your not. in your vision. Looking ahead only. <laughs> this island is behind <laughs> us. It's like um, now just he's got a sausage in his hand. And he's kind of just like feeding it forward to Cherry's face to offer them a bite of just a giant Not, not now. Sausage. I'm going to fly this damn thing. Oh, no. All right. <laughs> um, but, so yeah, there's a few hours of travel. Is there anything you guys want to discuss before you land? You know, or... 
Because Cherry did say you'd be meeting Balazar at the dock. Or or she'd be meeting Balazar. Uh, All right, uh, Uruk, now's your time. I'm going to hand him 50% of the the shipment. And take them. Time to hide it. He'll, he'll stuff them inside of like a, a loaf of bread and then eat the loaf of bread. There we go. Add a boy. Jemmy sandwich. <laughs> okay. Oh um, why do you make a uh, constitution saving throw to see oh, how many God. raw gemstones you can eat? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> it turns out they're like uranium. A twi- <laughs> not natural twin. Yes, Bruh. that's my boy. <laughs> I can eat as yeah. many as exists. He can eat as many as he or- wants. He's damning the consequences. Crocodile for man. The jam shipment uh, <laughs> inside his stomach. And all right. Um, I knew it. Okay. I knew it would Uruk work. was um, the real bag of holding all absolutely. the Absolutely. We don't need <laughs> shit else. <laughs> so um, after a few hours, the gyrocopter returns to the docks of Rancoa and you land back on the same um jetty you departed from and as you're descending down um you can recognize you recognize um balazar the dwarf who offered you the the job standing in the docks flanking him is that same half ogre that you recognize from the first time you met him if you remember that was sleeping on the ground before him however also with him are two other dwarfs similarly dressed in expensive well-tailored suits with sl- uh, greased back hair and uh, heavily plated beards. Um, as you open the gyrocopter, um, Cherry just gives you all a nod, and um, Balazar strikes up a cigar and um, steps towards you as you approach him and says, Well, what happened then? Uh, well, um, uh, everyone at the camp was dead. So... That's kind of what happened. Some kind of monstrous infernal creature thought to make sport of everyone in the area and uh, gave some of the leeway for the lizard folk to make some inroads as well. It was uh, an all in all not not so pretty. Um, And uh, boys, anything else to add? It it shot me as he pulls open his... (laughs) Shot shot me, uh... Because we all look like hell still, right? Like we all look like yeah, shit. Yeah. I think I'm probably the only one who went virtually untouched the entire <laughs> Yeah, pretty time. much. I think the only thing you got you was the exploding thunder arrow th- mm-hmm. uh, thing. I think that was it. Yeah. Um, uh, and I, and I don't even damage. yeah, you took actually, half of it anyway. Yeah, I took half of that. I did actually. Yeah, that was the only thing that got me. That was the only thing that got me. Yeah. I actually forgot to mark it. <laughs> that's, how much I, that's how much I, I didn't even think of it. I was like, oh yeah, it's cool. It's fine. We're fine. <laughs> We're good. Yeah, it's fine. We're, We're going to survive. We're going to survive because next turn I'm going to kill it. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. Um, when you say an infernal creature, what do you I, mean? I, well, I assume infernal in that it's uh, use all these infernal markings, which fortunately I can read. Normally I charge for my translation services, but um, uh, yes, it seems that it was making sport of things on the island and uh, had been keeping track of the various different things it had been hunting in in an infernal script. So I assume as much. Um, You can see he just kind of looks back at the um, other dwarves and and he says... So everyone's dead, and the mining shipments aren't aren't flowing anymore. Right. Uh, we were able to recover half of the shipment, though. So should that ease your pain somewhat? <clears throat> About fifty. What happened to the recovered. other half? Uh, the lizard folk in the camp had already made off with it. We did what we could, but eh. you know how you lizard seem- folk are. Uh, they can be a nuisance, um, but I would ask you to make another deception check here. Um, With the so backing bad. of my brothers have, at advantage, yeah, you right? Can have, yes, 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 yes. Considering we only have 50% of the shipment on us. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> can we get a truth bonus? Can we get a truth bonus? Yeah, we I just like right turn out our pockets. We're like, mm. uh, yeah, uh, anyway. 20, DM 20. The room shuffles around, around. You just hear the shifting of gems. <laughs> the clanking. Click, click, yeah, click, yeah. click. <laughs> Well, 
I suppose I have no reason to doubt you. You've you've done well, but the the creature's dead. And what about the lizard folk? Have they been driven off, or are they still <sighs> the ones that were in the anyway. camp? We were able to uh, eliminate, but um, again, not sure where the rest of them are. Uh, we weren't paid to hunt them down. That's fair. So that was That's actually fair. not in the contract. That was indeed, not in the contract. Indeed, yes. No, you're right. You're right. Well, hmm. You've served me well, I must say. Um, I may have more work for you in the future, uh, but in the meantime, um, this is for all of you. And he um, gestures forward with a uh, uh, hand in one of the dwarves, um, hands a heavy sack towards you, Sabaz. Well, <clears throat> oh, oh, that's pretty good there. Uh, Dro, if you don't mind um, holding on to this and oh. doling it out when we can. Oh, of course. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna take a hold Thumb of it, it, and I'm already I'm already like appraising as I'm walking away yeah. with it. <laughs> and the the half of the shipment, uh, if you'd return that. Oh, right, of course. And you know, from the pockets that we do have, half of the shipment. Yeah. Sure. Oh, of course, of course, of course. Yes. Yeah. Well, I think you could do with the rest, so. Why don't you be on your way, and like I said, I'll be in touch with more business if I have it. Perfect. All right, boys, let's go take a rest. Come on. So, oh, yes. Yep. Oof. Okay. My cards. <laughs> <laughs> Good time if my camera so, just died. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God, I'm just numbers right, on a you screen. You need to put your memory card in. He's turned into the Wavecaster transmitter thing. Oh, right? no. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, oh no. Jesus. All right, we're good. There you go. There he is. Um, so yeah, unless there's any final words from any of your characters, um, this would be a good place to end it as you guys make your way along the jetty and back into the city. We're rich, boys. We're rich. <laughs> I we am going it. to spend so much money. Oh, that's right, my friend. That's right. <clears throat> and <sighs> uh, Uruk, big platter of meat for you, right? Yes. Uh, I'm not hungry. <laughs> oh, right. Right. Maybe maybe tomorrow. <laughs> maybe. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow. Hey, whatever we do, put some olive oil with it. Give him plenty of yeah, olive oil. Yeah, lots of olive oil. Up. Fast forward to everybody standing outside an outhouse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. The distant sound of clinks intermixed <laughs> with oh, clops. clops. Oh, uh, did, you, did you put the bag underneath? Oh, we're gonna have to fish that out of the outhouse, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, you know, see, I'm, I'm just gonna. I'll take one for the team. I'll, I'll literally hold the bag. Oh yeah. no! <laughs> All right. Before before it gets too graphic, we'll we'll end on that image of Drew holding a bag beneath Urik's arse. <laughs> and we were heroes. <laughs> yeah. Well done. Well done, yeah. everyone. That, you, 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 we you did, did it. You, you good did, job, guys. You did. You did surprisingly well, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah so that was fun. Um, it was a great time. I, I did enjoy it. Um, Fairy fire oh, op. Oh, it's yeah. So good. Um, I'm glad one of you did have it because otherwise that might have been a bit trouble. <laughs> but I knew. I knew. Point, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, obviously. Um, that campaign was supposed to be a little re uh, redoing of the movie Predator. Um, mm -hmm. That's what the creature was supposed to be in a manner. But it was actually, there's a D&D monster called an Orthon, which, if you haven't looked up, it basically is a Predator. It's like a bounty hunter from uh, the Infernal Plains, but I tried to make it a little bit different and a little bit weirder. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Our thoughts are great. That's awesome. Yeah, woo! <laughs> Claps for Craig. Thank you. Yeah. Nicely oh, done, you, my bro. friend. Well done, well done. <laughs> uh, at the end of the, this particular episode, we're definitely going to do some, some shout out stuff because we haven't seen some of these people in quite a long time. Ernie, where can people find you at on the internet? Oh, you can find me in a little place called youtube.com forward slash blurred without fear. Uh, I live stream every Saturday and I post videos throughout the week doing all kinds of uh, breakdowns and discussions about comic books and comic book related things. And yeah, uh, it's always fun. Excellent. Yes, sir. Drew, where can people find you out on the internet? Hey guys, yeah, I'm Mudcat. You can find me on Twitter uh, at Mudcat TV or uh, Twitch, just Mudcats. But more importantly, you can find me over on D20 Deathmatch on YouTube every Sunday night. If you like uh, tabletop uh, mm. PvP, if you like things like WWE, Mystery Science Theater 3000, uh, etc., then uh, we're probably your jam, so come check us out. 
Hell yeah, absolutely. And <clears throat> I'll ask both of you here, even though you kind of just like exist here now. Is that? What the hell? That's so rude. <laughs> Isn't that? Wow. Hey, Connor, where hey, can people, people find you at on the internet? Uh, normally you can find me in my bathroom in yes. the bath watching WrestleMania 8 like I was last night. Uh, yeah, I don't really do anything on the internet, to be honest, because I hate everyone and I'm enjoying my <laughs> private life now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Give us a follow on Twitter. It's just my <laughs> name, Connor Hawkins. I make games. You might be able to play a game that I make someday. Who knows? P potentially. But yes, if you want to see, see more uh, of Connor, he's here on another show we're doing. Great. I'm also here as well. Yeah, subscribe to Joel. Yeah, and, or, yeah. or don't because he hates everyone. It's or fine. Craig, where can people find you at on the internet? Uh, if they're looking for me, one word, don't. Ah, Good. No, I'm, just I'm glad right. we got that. Clip. That sounds vaguely threatening. Right? If you want to find I'm him, sorry. you can find the links down below in the description <laughs> where he can be found imminently. Yes, yeah. Um, yeah, no, nothing really. I don't have anything to plug. All good. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for playing, everyone. And thanks for making the time. Uh, it sucks that we weren't able to have our full group today, but with the way that scheduling goes, it is the thing. Had a great time. Glad to be in a player's chair for once. This was great. Craig, thanks for giving me the opportunity. And uh, anytime, hopefully well, you'll be... Anytime. I was going to say, man, oh, you, you want to DM some more stuff? <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't write that, don't write that. <laughs> you want to DM some more stuff? <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. All right. Bye. 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 Peace.